Whoever has decided to say, hey, I'm going to edit these three ex radio presenters who haven't had the limelight in a while. Yeah. I mean, well, I, that, say, I was on air yesterday. So. Oh, so you just got that little ego boost? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I, I got off air voluntarily. So. <laughs> <laughs> when was the last time you were on air? Um, middle of last year. Do you miss it? He obviously... No, no, like, the world misses him. The world does miss him. I, I miss talking him. to yeah. people like you guys. Oh, I miss so, you guys. I don't miss yeah. talking to you guys. But Actually, I miss we've you never guys. been on air to, together, right? No, we've done some emergency political segments before, like for elections and stuff. Have we? Oh yeah, you would go four syllable words. I'd go six. <laughs> you know? And you'd turn on... Where, where, where did you study? Uh, where, where was I sitting? Where, where were you studying? Um, back in the day? In my imagination, he wasn't, I realized, he wasn't yeah. at all. Like, in, 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 in England, yeah, England, he wasn't yeah, so at all. You, you, you'd like jack up the Cockney, and I go like more Canadian. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean. And then when I get really insecure, I just switch to Australian as well. <laughs> and then you and go then kampong. When things go really bad, I just speak Latin. He's getting that there. <laughs> ah, okay. yeah, but like, okay. um, yeah, things have been. Yeah, we're rolling, guys. We're rolling. Just, okay. Just, just, okay. Yeah, just chat. Okay. Just chat. Okay. Just chat. Um, just, yeah. yeah. I think MH three hundred and seventy was when I went on air with you, the one and only time. Yeah. Oh, yeah. that was after we did the the market call, and then you were called in to do emergency broadcast. I that was went home. that was the weekend with him. Yeah. So we were on a, an Afen Huang market event with oh, him yeah, on, right. on the morning. Then yeah. we got the news. That was right? a live audience. Yeah, and then he was uh, roped in to do a live broadcast because of the missing airplane. Then I went home. I, rem- yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, there are some moments where you don't forget in terms of like this media thing that the three yeah. of us have done. Like yeah. you kind of like don't forget. Yeah. I mean, I remember two specifically yeah. like MH370, but then yeah. just the elections of 2018 and like yeah. also just just feeling that, oh, it feels like it's going to turn, right? And yeah. it's, it's crazy to be, it's crazy to be on air. <laughs> like, I tell you what has been really crazy. Right? What is really crazy the last five years is the number of unexplained events in Malaysia, okay? First of all, an entire aeroplane goes missing. Then another aeroplane from the same airline gets shot down. Okay. Right. And, and then the, the brother of the world's greatest dictator since World War II gets okay. shot and murdered in Malaysia. Right. 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 And then a, a reverend goes missing for years. He, he, he hasn't appeared That's since right. then, right? That's right. A, a, a prosecutor on the team that is trying to take down a former prime minister gets found in a, 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 a oh, concrete in a, mixer. Yeah, in a bin right? or something. Mafia yeah. style, soprano style, yeah. right? I mean, th- the list just goes on and on, right? And that nothing like has win- been explained. That Noth- was a window of everything happening and we yeah. kind of took it for... Right, just like that. Oh, yeah, <laughs> right, and, and, the, and then uh, uh, the top politician in Malaysia makes off with 42 billion ringgit, right? Till today, he's still a member of parliament. Still right. getting a lot of well, press. I, I, still I think that if you, if you um, narrow the time frame, of course, you know, I, I always talk about long-term time frames, yeah. right? But if you narrow the time frames, you'd be very surprised why extreme things happen in Malaysia. But if, if you kind of expand the time frames into decades, right? Uh, 20, 30 years ago, if you look forward and ask yourself, would shit happen um, Three decades from today, and but, and and you would you would probably come to the conclusion that yeah, if things don't change, uh, strange things are going to happen in Malaysia. And and today, if you ask that same question, yeah, what would happen in thirty years' time in in our country, right? Uh, you can expect very bizarre things happening. I, I think so. Yeah. I think so because the events of the last five or ten years already beggars belief in comparison to the previous ten years and the previous ten years before that. Because those previous ten years in the nineties and in the and the and the noughties were, were like fucking uh, um, fresh graduates compared to what we're going through now. <laughs> but but doesn't yeah. all of this like really crazy fucked up shit coincide with the ability for us to capture fucked up shit like? Like yeah. cameras and recorders, like yeah. do you know so what I mean? Like th- everything now is like, I mean, you guys said unexplained, and I immediately went through these like declassified Pentagon yeah. uh, UFO sightings. That now for a UFO sighting, when it's like approved and confirmed by the Pentagon, oh, it's like taken as fact now. Like everybody's like, oh, there are unexplained. Wait, there are UFOs. Yeah, like recently, like the, really? the confirmed, really confirmed, confirmed. Really. That's right? great news. So, so but, but remember <laughs> in the nineties? In the nineties, yeah. it was like, oh, it's Roswell. Yeah, it's only it's only wrong. But Area now, fifty one. Area fifty one. But yeah. now we have unexplained phenomena, and it's like, yep, that's part of the cause. But we've got a pandemic to to deal with, so that gets buried in the news, right? That's that's very interesting. Life life from outer space. 
yeah. um, higher beings, intelligent yeah. beings, and yeah. they're, they're looking at us and they say, these guys don't know what they're doing. Man. Actually, <laughs> actually, <laughs> actually, they, li- they really live among us. Okay, I'll, t- I'll tell you who's. I'll tell you who's. Why, a, I'll tell you. Have who's you a f- always believed this, or are yeah, you just saying it now? Right? I'll tell you who's a fucking alien. Okay, Mark Zuckerberg's a fucking alien. No, he's not. No, you look he's at a him, nerd right? from Harvard. Who, no, 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 no. Who's you look, just trying you, to figure you, out how you, to get girls? No, no, no. You, you look at him close up and personal, right? He's a fucking alien lizard. I'm not. I'm not fucking kidding you, man. He's a fucking lizard, right? That was put on Earth to fucking fuck with what people. What are they here Dude, for? Elon, what, what are they doing? Can, what are they doing okay. here? Okay. Contenders, contenders for aliens. Yeah. I mean, okay, let's let's do top five. Okay. Contenders for aliens, right? I'd start off with you know I just start off comfy with like Elon Musk. Elon Musk is you, an you alien. You got to start percent Elon Musk. You got to start, is start an with alien. him because yeah. he's he's thinking Mars, he's thinking yeah. the Moon, he's, yeah, yeah. He, and he's really comfortable about it. Mm-hmm. He says. Bitcoin on a tweet and suddenly yeah. the world shakes. I think that's pretty. <laughs> I think that's pretty cool. That's not alien-like. That's that's just a me. No, no, no. He's, but, got, he's but, nominee. Nominee. But the level he's of his intelligence the is an order order of magnitude superior to any human being that has ever been publicly yeah. available. I mean, he's he's off the charts. He's a fucking smart kid. Not even a kid. He's a smart guy, man. I can't believe he's Canadian. No, he's not. He's South African. Oh, I wonder. I think he's Canadian. He's South oh, no. African. He's dating Grimes. Who I think who's, is Canadian. Who's Grimes? She okay. dirty? I just, lo- I just love it that you just say who's Grimes. <laughs> Grimes is a, is, a, is a young, upcoming, well, not upcoming, established hey, pop indie artist. Either. He's married. He's married to Grimes. Oh. She's, a, she's a pop singer. She okay. performed in like the B in KL but like a couple of years is, ago. Is, and a lot she, of people went, oh. The question is, <laughs> oh, is, she, is, she, is, is Grimes dirty or not though? The music is. Okay. I wouldn't. I would. Okay. I wouldn't apply. It. I wouldn't apply. It what to about the what about Putin and <laughs> Xi Jinping? Right? I think Putin is an alien. Hundred yeah. percent alien. Putin and no. Xi Jinping. Okay, yeah, but yeah. Putin. I mean, I've watched like many documentaries on Putin. Just okay. because you know, have you seen this thing where I mean, allegedly, he when he walks, mm. right? I think it's his left arm when he walks. It's still. Oh, I think it's his right oh, really? arm. And the reason for that is that the rationale of it is because you're he's a former KGB agent. And so you always have to get your arm ready to whip out the to gun. So someone. every time he walks, you should just watch videos of him walking. Only so, one, so, so, it's just one arm. So he spats nets. Yeah. Are you serious, yeah. right? Yeah. I, I, I wouldn't yeah. be surprised though. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But I mean, he. I mean, he's 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 number two for me. I like. Thank you for that. If if, if I could okay. steal that. Okay. Putin. Okay. Putin. Okay. Number yeah. three, alien wise. Zuckerberg lah. Zuckerberg, hundred percent Zuckerberg. I think everybody. Mah- Mah- not Mah- all the aliens. Alien. Like look look at him. Like he he. Yeah. I love, I love he brought it home. He brought, oh, it, home. He brought it home. He's he over home. 90. He can change the world. He can turn time around. And the fact um, that he, he can do this time travels. age-defying uh, acts of, of physical labor. He, I mean, he was never cycling die. in Putrajaya the other day, right? He, he no, he die. was not. I was told he was on, on, on good authority. What, yeah, with yeah, the yeah, shorts yeah. and everything? No, no, not shorts. Like, he, he does the baju <laughs> thing. But, no. you know, oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. But you know, he was cycling like, un- unassisted. Do you know what I mean? Not not like an oh, e-bike. Oh, actually, he right? used, I mean, he used to horse ride as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah I remember yeah. that. That's yeah. so alien-like, right? <laughs> no, no, I love a little bit of horse riding. They can, you know, you know, there's this, you know. So now apparently there's this um, idea that we're in the middle of a great reset. Okay, and it's-, it's I've heard about it's, this. Right, so it's a great reset, right? <laughs> no, no, I'm not kidding, right? Are you not heard about and, this? <laughs> He, he sure has one. Sure no, has no, no, okay. but like this is Davos stuff. I thought he was up, up, up on all that. So, so there's, this, the, there's this whole idea that the US dollar is, is, is uh, being phased out. It's being um, in, invalidated by the amount of debt that has been pumped into the economy, right? And this is the idea that China is now coming up and it's taking over America. And you can say the decay in America is, is visceral, right? It's real, okay? And China's emergence is also visceral and equally real, okay? So this is great reset going on. There's a shift of power from, from the Americas to the Chinas, okay? And in, in line with that, there's, this, there's a lot of noise, which I think is part of the reason why we're seeing all these things. I actually, I truly believe that. So, so even, even though, you, even, even as well as that, so the transition from fiat currencies to Bitcoins and, and Ethers and, and Doge and, and you know, how it's now becoming mainstream yeah. to be able to accept pay payments in, in, in crypto. PayPal, for example, has started to accept Bitcoin. There's something going on here, guys. We don't know what it is, right? I think the events are the last Rather five than or just ten a years. regular evolution of things? No, no, no. There's some there's, there's some, some shit, there's some shit going on. I just don't know what it is, ah. right? Sure one, sure one. Right. Well, I, I, right? I mean it's, it's quite obvious that America is quite worried that uh, of of the uh, the rise of China. They won't that, take that it is, lying down. That that is unstoppable, right? Yeah. China China is definitely through the lack of democracy, uh, really controlling things and really moving forward with things. I mean, it's definitely happening, but I, I also think that the, the powers that be, whether it's US, China or, or Russia, 
they are trying to fight against uh, this uh, other um, de decentralization thing that's going on with the cryptocurrencies, right? The very nature of crypto is that it's not supposed to be mainstream and it's not supposed to be controlled. It's supposed to be um, independent, decentralized. And the moment it becomes mainstream, it, lose, it loses its original purpose, you know? Yes, and, it loses its edge. A little bit. It's it's not just the edge, right? Um, it's it's we if we it's supposed to be an idea where if if you traded with each other, the the government has no say in that transaction. Yeah, you know? it's, it's yeah. supposed to be that. And the moment it gets into that, you know, Bitcoin a million bucks, the government the governments around the world they want in. And I I don't think that's the purpose of Bitcoin. Okay. But technology is moving us towards that. I I think there would come a day when uh, governments will have no control, but the, the, the people do these transactions among themselves. Yeah, so when Satoshi Nakajima started Bitcoin, is it Satoshi Nakajima? He wrote the white paper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I so, mean, I so, love it. You, Nakamoto, just, dropped, when, you Nakamoto. just dropped- Nakamoto. I think it's Nakamoto. So, so whether, no, he's dropped, whether, you see how quickly he says the syllables and like names. we immediately like, yes, he knows what he's talking about. Actually, I, he just I, drops I, I, the I could be completely wrong about this. No, but I know it's a Satoshi. Okay, so it's whether it's one person oh. or a team of people, we don't, we still don't know, okay? Yeah. So the idea behind Bitcoin was that it was exactly that. Uh, no, it's too long. Right? Right? Too long. Give us the TLDR version. No, no, no. I, ah, yeah. So, so maybe, maybe the Bitcoin ethos is to be uh, non-conventional and to be fringe, right? But everybody can issue tokens nowadays. Everybody, everybody can be a token issuer, right? That's the whole idea behind. So, so it, it consumes too much power. You right. not not everybody right. can do it. Right. So, so, so a crew can be a token issuer, right? It's just as how Hello Go was an issuer in Ether based. I, 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 years think, ago, I right? think I uh, think they they need to think of uh, disruptive methods to allow people to come up with tokens. Um, and it's it's not easy, I think. Uh, you're talking you're talking about actual coins, yeah, right? Yeah, coins, yeah, yeah. Uh, so, so for example, right. Um, Hello Gold issued issued tokens in an uh, Ethereum based token during the big ICO boom of 2017. They they raised millions, right? And today everybody wants to get in on the whole act. Okay, yeah. um, that's still based on Ethereum. Oh, it doesn't. It can yeah. be anything, right? It can be anything. No, no. What what I mean is to to come up with the Bitcoin or the Ether or Ethereum or yeah. whatever coin you wanted. You you latch right, onto your right technology now, la. Right now, um, we are still uh, in, in a way uh, controlled by the miners. The miners need a lot of capital and a lot of money to uh, come up with those coins, right? So ah, it's, it's not easy for normal people, but if they want to make this thing uh, like currency, right? Currency in the normal English sense of the word where everybody- Of what we know. Of, 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 not, not, of not money, but currency in, in the sense of universal. universal. Yeah, so you know, to be to be able to be accepted and used correct. by everybody. So it's it's about distribution, right? Yeah, right. Yeah. So mining is just linked with distribution. Okay? I mean, you okay. guys are losing me, but I'm gonna hang on for dear <laughs> okay. life. It doesn't matter anyway. Doesn't yeah. matter the the yeah. world would end in about ten years because we are killing the earth. Right. So that's cryptocurrency. Thank 1. you for <laughs> bringing it back to. It Mother doesn't Nature. matter. It's, you know, I watched a video the other day, uh, yesterday, in fact, um, uh, about uh, the history of the world in ten minutes. Right. Yeah. Starting with the Big Bang, right up to today. And Wasn't that Bill oh. Bryson who did that? Was it Bill Bryson? Uh, it's a Bill Bryson book. No, no, no. This, this, this yeah, is yeah. just a video on YouTube. Like okay. any oh, wow. normal- I mean, there, there's a lot of like there, dodgy there videos on them, YouTube. But the point, <laughs> like the the point is, that now. the point is the humans, humans existed in the last 30 seconds of the video. Yeah. Out of, yeah, out, right, out of 15 right, right. billion years of history, yeah. humans only came about in, in this tiny slither of human history, right? Yeah. And we're about to destroy ourselves. Okay. So it so, doesn't matter. So you know that, yeah. he knows, I know that, right? Have you made it real by taking out the 10% of your EPF according to what ICNA is allowing you to do and live your wow. fucking life? Because wow. you know that you're here- How does that make it real? Wait, what? No, 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 what how, is did, real? how did you make a jump ah. to, from that to EPF? No, because it's, car, it's, it's carpe diem, brother. Okay. Seizing the day? Diem, right? Okay. Because the whole idea of EPF is- A little bit is, Latin. Right? The whole idea of yes. EPF is delayed gratification, right? I leave my money there right, for right. as long as I can. Then at the end of that cycle, I want to take it out and I'm going to go and fucking spend a weekend at the Grosvenor in London and, and put a thousand pounds That will bet. totally destroy mm. the world. No, but don't care, when, right? When, don't you, care. when you take out your money and spend it, that will destroy the world. No, that, yeah. that is the very thing that yeah. destroys but the world. But because you know, what? you know- I it was just cow dung. 
of course, cow dung no, no, and no, no, gases. But, but the, no, you're talking about change. aliens, right? If the aliens are walking among us, they are laughing to themselves. And they're, they're, gonna, but, but, they're, they're saying, ha, 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 sorry. these guys are destroying themselves. Yeah. We have a spaceship out of here <laughs> like when that happens. I, I kid you not, I just saw the video two days ago about yeah. the retired um, captain who was yeah. um, flying that ship to sort of do a recce on this unexplained flying object, oh, right? Okay. And it's, you know, it's they describe it as a tic-tac. Guys, you haven't seen this? Okay. No, no, no. But send, you, send, send, send. You gotta check send, it out. Uh -huh. But but what it is is basically they saw this 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 tic-tac that was moving on the radar. So the, the ship said, guys, fly what out. What appeared to be a tic-tac. Like. What appeared to be a tic-tac kind of yeah, movement, yeah. right? And I thought, I can't, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna get the facts wrong, but 80,000 above sea level, yeah, they were seeing yeah, this thing, yeah, right? Yeah. And then suddenly it just goes down to like a thousand feet above sea level. So one captain goes down and the squadron, I don't know, up there, just yeah. making sure. Yeah. The guy go, goes down, he comes face to face with it and then disappears and goes back up there. Yeah. And so he recalls it, they've got video of it, and then the Pentagon confirms it. And it's just more like, I always wonder, is it a case of the aliens are seeing us and going, oh, these guys, these guys are just at the end of the rope. We'll come back in another like 10,000 years or whatever. And then we'll, or may, you know what I mean? Like they're, we're, we're just too primitive almost to, to be, to be bothered about, it, 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 we're not that yeah, yeah, unique yeah. or special. I think you know what I mean. Like they've seen this. They've before. seen it and they say, "Well, they, I mean, been that there, done that." Yeah, uh, <laughs> right. Yeah. I, I don't think so. I don't think so. I, you think we're th the most advanced? No, 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 no. I think there's a lot for the aliens to come and acquire here in terms of acquisition. Okay, and nah. uh, and no, no, no. When, when I don't you, think so. When you look at history, right? We still don't know who built the pyramids, right? You know those oh, I those. Love um, that. I love that. Right? Do you know what I mean? Right? There's so much unexplained <laughs> phenomena, right? When you go and look at the walls of the yeah. pyramids look, this, in these Egypt, aliens right? who come there on are drawings, the spaceship, there are drawings they're, they're, of alien They visiting. are light years away. They they would have discovered all the material they need. All How the resources. on an alien, Jules. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm plugged into the matrix, wow, right? Wow. I don't know, right? I think we took a turn to Rene Descartes there, right? Like, I mean, just a quick turn there. This is actually vodka. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'm plugged into the matrix, you know. I I, I don't mind that. I, I don't want to be unplugged and see the ugly world outside of this. Yeah. Did you guys, when, when you, I mean, be honest, but I mean, I was just late into my teens when the matrix came yeah, out. Yeah, and, yeah. and when I first saw it, I remember the, sort it's of leaving, I remember going. leaving the cinema going, well, that what blew my mind, but that? I <laughs> didn't understand the movie. Like, I mean, the first time I watched it, because it was just like so mind bending. It depends and then on in my early 20s, I watched it again. I was like, oh, I see red pill. That's the literal see. version and that's the metaphorical version. I mean, and the literal version is that you're, you're really plugged in, right? Yeah. right? But the metaphorical is like you make life out of what you want it to be because yeah. it's all in your head, right? Yeah. yeah, so so correct. So it depends on what kind of frame of reference your mind was in at the time. Were you one-dimensional at the time or were you two-dimensional at the time? Or were you three-dimensional at the time? I was right? very literal. I, I, was, I, I, was, I wish I had Kung Fu and I could fly through yeah. the air. So, so what I mean to say is that if you had, you know, had a spliff before watching The Matrix. <laughs> right. It would have been interesting. Do you know what I mean? Um, well, I think, I think having a spliff you know, before a spliff, anything a spliff wouldn't <laughs> help is always you. very interesting. Would have been a interesting. spliff wouldn't help you with enjoying Matrix 2 oh, and 3. They were terrible. 100%. 100%. Oh, I, said, I, think, I, think, I think there are certain strands that would have made yeah, yeah, 2 yeah. and 3 and very like, manageable. Whoa, yeah. what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, I, I watched Pulp Fiction once um, when I was stoned. Just it once. Was fucking amazing, man. It blew my mind. It is a great movie, though. Right. I mean, just, and, and, just and then if you're stoned, you're like, what the fuck? Right? Samuel L. Jackson, he's going off on a terrain, and, you know, and Bruce Willis is in there, and. Yeah, sorry. I like, that, ago, I, I like that conversation in Reservoir Adults about tipping. I, I love that part of it. Remind, remind, recall, remind, recall, me, remind me, remind me, yeah. remind me. Yeah. Well, I, I think Samuel L. Jackson and... Uh, was, Reservoir was, Dogs, since he was inside? I, no, Reservoir Dogs was not Samuel L. Jackson. Nah, Sam was Jackson's Tim, not... I think you're thinking of Pulp Ross. Fiction? I, we're still talking about Pulp Fiction. I mean, we? we're checking if you're talking I'm, about I'm, Pulp Fiction. <laughs> I'm actually mixing up all my Quentins. <laughs> <laughs> I, that, that was... That Quentin. was Reservoir Dogs? <laughs> That, I mean, if it was Reservoir Dogs, I'd, I'd yeah. know. Which Sam is the Jackson. one which goes, which have uh, Mr. Black, Mr. Pink, Mr. Reservoir Dogs, lah. Yeah, they, yeah, they yeah. were arguing about tipping, weren't they? Yeah, but Sam, okay, Sam but Jackson, Jackson was not wasn't in, 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 the, oh, in the movie. forgive me. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. yeah. yeah. Oh, so I'll get, I'll get. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we're the, you know, we're, we're amazing movie experts here. <laughs> but that, that tipping one is as good as a lesson in life. I, I think, think so. Yeah. Okay. Have sorry. you seen that? Have you seen Reservoir Dogs? Seen it a few times, can't remember the tipping scene now. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So what are the lessons there? Go watch it. I mean, yeah. I, I wouldn't Julia, do it justice. I mean, you can't, I mean sorry, sorry, sorry. I, I wouldn't sorry, do it justice. This. You can't set it up and like, it's you just, know, leave it's, me hanging. It's just about one guy 
telling the other person to tip. That's that, you know. I, I, and the I value can't, of I tipping? Can't, yeah, yeah, I can't do as good a job as, as that. But what's know? the sentiment? What's the sentiment that you're going to be generous, that you should not You should be appreciative of yeah. the other person's time and effort you yeah. and energy? Tip. Basically, yeah. if you want to eliminate inequality in this world, you got to tip. Yeah. Okay. I, I hate it. it. I hate it. That's it. I, the only thing I don't like about tipping yeah. is that in different circumstances, in different places, in different countries, there's a different etiquette. And when you arrive in a different place, it is not so obvious that. Well, you see. Well, well, well also, you got to expand. Math. No, yeah, yeah. you got to expand the idea in, into uh, something that's bigger, into the whole oh, white, sure. yeah, whole sure. white universe. So, right. so it's the whole art of giving back, lah. Giving uh, back, appreciating what you've just received. Not twenty percent um, of, of, of the final bill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah, know, this yeah. this extends uh, yeah. to our politicians if they have enough brains to take that conversation well, that's and, a- and apply it to policy, right? Um, it, 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 this, this goodness has to be recycled as part of society. They, they, that's I not going to happen, no, right? No, because, no such thing. Well, because power no is available and, because, and you yeah, want a little yeah. taste of that and there's a limited period yeah. of time. Because politics, yeah. politics and generosity are two phrases that don't, two words that don't belong in the same phrase. There, there's yeah. been a lot of moments in, in history where generosity and perseverance and all that ha- yeah. and has actually sort of brought moments yeah. of great Great, yeah. great light. Yeah. But for the most part, there's a lot of shitty, fucked up things as well, right? Yeah, 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 yeah for 100%, 100%, sure. 100%. For sure. Um, yes. So, wow. aliens, aliens. That went dark. <laughs> <laughs> aliens. Yeah, I, I, I think it's good to uh, look at a viewpoint of the, uh, like, consider the world from the viewpoint of whether um, there are aliens walking among us or not, because it, it raises the question of whether we are destroying um, what we have, you know, something very good that we have, right? It, all, all these don't matter, like the US fighting against China. Um, it doesn't matter if the world is going to end <laughs> in 10 years time because of global warming. Greta Thunberg has it right, I think. Greta Thunberg is a, is a cat's paw. She's, she's just a, she's a PR stunt. She doesn't do really You can't call a 16-year-old, hang on. No, she's a, a 16 year old stunt. who's like left school and like got this whole movement. That's not cat's no, no, paw. It doesn't That's matter. That's impressive. Why? Do you know what a cat's paw is? I don't know I, what I'm a cat's impressed. paw is. I mean, I don't. I'm assuming it's a cat's paw. <laughs> no, because the powers that be then deploy this, this cat's paw. To but just so what? No, but, but so as what? an individual, so isn't, that, isn't that effort by this young person so amazing no. though? No, 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 no. You no, don't no. think I, she's I think, amazing? I, I think Greta Thunberg is a PR stunt. So what? But what? So but, what? But, but by, so by, so by the deep state? Yeah, so what? <laughs> it's just the message, right? It's, no, no. But but, but you're saying she's what? She is. Um, she's a. She's a. She's a spy. No, she's not a spy. She's 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 placed there like a product placement to to symbolize what the Western world thinks so of. So are we? Yeah, correct. So are we? So that, that's why I say it's it's, a, <laughs> it's frames of reference, right? It's the Asian frame of reference, it's the North American frame of or the Western frame of reference. Versus the Asian frame of reference is which frame of so, reference so, is going to win? But in sorry, the so is is, climb, yeah. is 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 the issue that she's bringing forth a reference that's geographical? It's, it's, it's a Western. It just, it's a Western frame of reference in terms of but, what they think the environmental um, the, the s- 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 uh, rejuvenation looks like. There's then. There's but an, don't you agree on the science that goes beyond? Like, don't you don't you agree on the science at least? Then you can, you can disagree on efforts, but surely the message or the issue that she's bringing forth is based on science and data that says we're fucking it up. And then she's just a signal saying, hey, we gotta, we gotta do something about it. Now you may disagree about necessarily the, the pace and how, but you can't yeah. possibly- so conceptually what she stands for makes sense. Right, right. right. But who she represents does not. Okay. For example, what Greenpeace believes in makes sense. Who Greenpeace represents does not. Mm-hmm. Right? Okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, we, we understand, we know that there's, there's some kind of destruction going on. We know that life for us all is finite. We just don't know how many more years we've got left here, right? right. The whole Gaia theory comes in and the whole issue of like um, uh, rising sea levels comes in, right? But whether or not that, that, that the savior, that ship that, that comes to save us is from the West or it's an Asian um, um, manifestation. <laughs> <laughs> Are you just not happy that it's just coming from them from that part of the world? But is it? I, 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 have, I have a big problem with the fact that the West thinks they can save us. Right. I have a big right, problem. No, I, right, right, I, right, I think right. I think to yeah. some extent I agree with you because this is about an affluent affluence uh, thing, right? Yeah. Because yeah. Um, I yeah. I think the people, the lower income people uh, who are up and coming in this yeah. part of the world, 
uh, want their fair share of consumption. Yeah. Right? So when you go out there to consume, I mean, like when you say withdraw your EPF money and go live your life, I mean, you are basically saying, can I spend my money in a way that uh, would would consume, would chop down more trees and would uh, uh, create more plastic? Whereas the West is uh, trying to preach to us and saying that we got to switch off our lights. Like this this World Earth Day thing, for example. It's switch bollocks. off, it's switch off your lights you for, for, for one hour. How do you, you feel know, about how it? How is that going to change It's a lot of world? bollocks. It's a lot of bollocks. How, right? how is that going to... It might yeah. raise... It might raise awareness for us. This is not the Bob Geldof thing, right? Sim- similar, like, just the, the latest incarnation. Okay, so the reason why I like World Earth Day used yeah. to be was just the concerts. Yeah. The concerts were yeah, great. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. like there was yeah. just like all the best bands the and the music. best singers. Yeah. 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 That, that's that. like plugging into the Matrix. <laughs> <laughs> but, 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 you know, I, I've also interviewed a lot of the uh, local, for example, plantation companies. And yeah. I, I've had the, um, the, the chance actually to speak to a very well-known uh, scientist who's French, right? Uh, and, and he talks about how palm oil is the most efficient plant oil. If, if you want to feed the world, right? Palm oil, it's it. It is. It, yeah. it is because yeah. uh, they exist in a, um, an environment where there's a lot of rain and sun. So uh, the yield of palm oil makes it the most efficient edible oil in the world. And what the Westerners are trying to do is that they're trying to put down palm oil so that they can sell uh, Whatever they want. So, something that's more inefficient. Like or rape, soybean, rape for example, or rapeseed, yeah. Uh, 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 yeah. Uh, it harms yeah, the world more. Yeah. And what if you want to feed 7 billion people, which is the most efficient oil, right? So uh, we, are, we are playing God here. We are, we are really in a game of seeing which is uh, the least harmful uh, to the world. We are, play, we are actually playing <laughs> well, that well, game. Yeah, here. but it's yeah. funny you mentioned about palm oil and being sort of like least harmful. Like I just, but I, I do hate the idea of like looking at that that Google Maps look on Borneo and all of that. Yeah, green. I hate it. And, I, I hate and, and then it being I all palm oil. Yeah. I mean, I hate that part of it as much as I agree that the possibility and potential of what palm oil so, represents. It, and so I, it, it's, it's just trying to reconcile that, right? So when, when somebody in, in India or, or Vietnam or Cambodia says, uh, let's, let's build more condos and let's fill these condos with stuff that would actually destroy the world, this is what this is what uh, we we are we are kind of drawing that line in the sand right now, and some people like like you say from the Western world are trying to say to us, you shouldn't do this anymore. You know. Well, I mean, <clears> look <throat> at look at the the paragons of virtue that are representing the uh, sustainability push, right? You've got people like Elon Musk with his Tesla cars and electricity is going to be the propulsion of the future for the automobile. Okay, You've got people like Bill Gates and saying his version of the vaccine or his, his, um, his foundation's solution to the world's woes are, are the bee's knees, right? Then you've got people like um, whatever, right? The Bitcoin push or the whole cryptocurrency push, which is the whole decentralized finance idea. Those all emanated from the West, right? Um, so Greta Thunberg represents those people. Apple, so the world, Apple right. just puts out a, a software which says, oh, your privacy matters. I'm not sure if she Apple does things. though, because she's scolding Donald Trump. C- she, she's saying, you, you are destroying the earth, right? But at how some da- point- How dare you? How, at some point she's- very dare Yeah. At some point she has to become mainstream. At some point she has to take the money and then pr- proceed to be the, the face of the lobby, right? Um, I don't see any how, but, Asian- But, 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 like, what, but <laughs> sorry, but like, why yeah. does- I mean, okay, so so the Asian, what is the what is the Asian solution? Asian solution has always been there for us. We don't fucking need cars. We can get by with bicycles, right? China has done really well with bicycles the last two hundred years. It's just that they've now believed that, to, that's to not, move up. That, that's not the Asian solution. That that is. Why the, is it? Sorry, why is the Asian solution bicycles again? <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck could just happen? Because there? it doesn't fucking kill the world, right? Right. It doesn't emit emissions, right? <laughs> no, no, no. Right? That 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 is the solution of. Uh, the political system in Asia at that point in time, right? The Chinese were riding bikes all, all, but but because Deng Xiaoping had opened up, and, and now the Chinese are driving cars and and they're riding magnet and trains. So, so in their okay? mind, they think that the car is, no, is the, they want the to go Chinese, from two wheels the, to four the Asian, wheels. The Asian solution is let me let me tell you this, right? The Asian solution Oof. is it, that the is, lack <laughs> of the Asian solution does sound like a bad idea. Like just I, the framing it could of be, that. It could like, be. The, the yeah. Asian solution is just simply the lack of democracy. When you have lack of democracy, oh, yeah. you you are in a position to tell people what to do 
so that they don't destroy the earth. That's the Asian solution. But what the West is trying to do right now is that they're trying to market this idea of democracy to us, but at the same time, allowing us to consume so that we destroy the world, right? It's, it's a conflict. I, I agree with that. I'm with point. you, but I'm not. But, but, so, but, you say, but, but hasn't, but hasn't, haven't we gone past the point where democracy has pretty much landed? I mean, obviously with different levels of autocratic no, no. nature, you say, apart from like, you, you wouldn't know, say China that Malaysia Russia. or Singapore has a strong version of democracy. You wouldn't say that, right? I wouldn't say strong, but it's moderate. I mean, we've had, we've had parliament. State-driven state yeah, 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 yeah. capitalism. Yeah. That's what we yeah. have. State-driven. Yeah. So, so the state capitalism uh, of, of China, I mean, it's, it's a kind of liberalism, but it's still destroying the world. We are all consuming to destroy the world. I totally but, agree. Yeah. That, that is why um, yeah. I, I live in the moment every day, right? It's fucking carpe diem. I don't think too far ahead. I just do what's in front of my nose and I just go ahead and do it. Right? No, was that no. what you did in the 80s? <laughs> yeah, yeah, no. <laughs> in, in, the, in the 80s? In the 80s. <laughs> the one I got no answer. Yeah. <laughs> no, but we, we have no idea. We have no idea how much longer we're going to make it for, right? We are, th there's never been a period such as now when there's been so much uncertainty, so much um, anxiety, so much stress, so much dissension in the system, right? I um, mean, the age of the 70s and the 60s where our parents went through, was serene compared to what we have yeah. to go through now. There's so many things bombarding our consciousness on a daily second by second basis thanks to those bloody phones and yeah. we're constantly plugged in. We're fucked. We need to disengage. I remember I remember one of the biggest disappointments just sort of like, you know, I've, I've, I've been working for about, I guess, um, upwards of like 15 years, years th 13, 15 years, I can't do yeah, my math or whatever. Fella. Young fella, right? But I'm, I'm just, but even just even that time span, because I watched my dad go to work when I was young, I watched my mom go to work, like pick them up at the office from like, my mom worked in ICI and stuff. Just the notion of like, you just had one job yeah. and you did that nine to five and you had everything around it, the weekends, yeah. school holidays and oh, all yeah. that. But like very quickly in my experience, that's all gone out the window. Like you're always having minimum a couple of side hustles and, and your partner and your cousins are doing yeah. that. And I think that particular notion is quite, I mean, for me, it's unsettling just because I was sort of seeing that transition, but for younger people who- who That's all they know now. That's all they know. And they're yeah. already, you know, doing- The American dream is gone, even in Malaysia. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh man. Yeah, so th there's, there's, a, there's a high level of toxicity, toxicity toxicity right? with yeah. productivity, right? There's this whole idea that you got to do all the time, engage and do as much as possible, earn as much money. There's something poisonous about that. I think there's something beautiful and uh, elegiac, elegiac, elegant about um, being simple and free. I got to whip out my notebook but, with but all what, these words. What you, but didn't you grow up under that guise of you got to be making the most of your time and being productive? Like I, I mean, became like that because when I was growing up with my parents in the 70s in Penang, right? My father didn't really work very hard, but we had enough money to buy a house with a bit of space in front of us, right? Yeah. Today you work your fucking ass off. What can you buy? Some space in the sky. It's called a condominium, yeah. right? Yeah. But how far does your money go? What is the value of the ringgit versus the US dollar? What is the value of the US dollar? It's nothing. It's just fucking fugazi fugazi, right? Yeah. It's fucking air in the sky. What is the value of gold? I don't know what the value of gold is other than the fact you can put it into your tooth and help you chew on more wow. on beef, right? Wow. Wow. Right. Well, what is the value of whatever value now? The, 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 we, we've lost yeah. sight of whatever it, you know, makes us life, happy Life has beings. certainly become so complex and- It doesn't uh, have to be that complex. Yeah, yeah. Right? And, and for me, I think it's coming home to roost now as well because I, I kind of was like, like you, I was quite lazy. Yeah. I just woke up <laughs> and- I love that. I love that. And <laughs> I, I love to play, I love to play. And, and now, now I have to think about my own discipline. You know, I got to pause and say like, you, you, am yeah. I doing enough yeah. uh, to make life work? I, I, I think yeah. I think what's, what's really interesting is that I think the three of us have very, I think we're in the same category, but different strands of laziness, like especially growing up in terms of that intensity of, yeah, yeah, of yeah. wanting to achieve and stuff. But we've, we've gotten by and we've figured things out but just that pressure now yeah. to actually deliver and it's just like I mean you gotta land each serve you gotta okay. you gotta you gotta land yeah. it so if you don't give a fuck what society thinks about you 
which, which is I hard. Because I'm, I'm now 50 years old. I don't give a fuck. I've got what, I've, what I call old people's rights, right? When did you get it? When did you, when did you get <laughs> it? That. When did you oh, feel that? I love that. <laughs> when did you get OPR? When did you get OPR? Um, maybe 10 years ago, Ooh. 15 years so ago. So you were too oh, young I'm, to get OPR, man. Oh, yeah, yeah. But you have to build up to it. You, yeah. you got to build up to <laughs> it. Yeah, yeah. You have <laughs> to graduate. So now I'm uh, like finishing. I'm going to graduate yeah. in the I'm just doing night school of OPR right now. I'm just I'm just peeking in. I still care a lot about what people think. Old people's rights allows you to think how the fuck you want to feel and think and act and speak this what you think. This is very eye-opening to me. I've I've not come across yeah, this. It's, yeah. yeah, it's called unfuckwithability, right? When yeah. you don't give a fuck what yeah. you're saying, right? And usually a lot of those folks have a, like um, that currency, like that, that um, like, don't give a fuck type money, right? Like, yeah. you know, it's just like- But yeah, that's the, that's the kind which does this stuff. But yeah, I'm yeah, not yeah. one of those, right? I'm right. just like- <laughs> You're just this, just your heart. Like yeah. your but but I, I thought that growing old is all about awareness and maturity. That's and what it is. This, this right. is my version of, of, of that lah. Of okay. wisdom, so, right? So, so his wisdom is, I think whatever I want to think, I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. But right? at some point, at some point, you would still have to think about the world, right? Because no. it affects you. No. Wouldn't it? No. Wouldn't it no. affect you? World goes on without without you, with or without you. Really? World goes on, right? So, so Sun still if, rises, if uh, still the world sing. WWF comes up and wave at you and say, hey, sir, can you donate 10 bucks to the world? What, what would you say to them? I'll say, show me your governance framework. <laughs> I put in fucking 10 bucks, 10 bucks goes and the starving <laughs> Ethiopian. I'm sorry. Just, you know what I mean? That's brilliant. That's you know, brilliant. Can you imagine some guy in uptown, right? Like, you know, he's just, oh, it's a hard day. That's <laughs> brilliant. And then you know, the joint just comes out of the bank or whatever. And says, sure, um, you know, we're, we're actually trying to sort of save the pandas. And, you know, the, yeah. actually the Serengeti is, is I, a real I, that's, situation that's right brilliant. now. That's brilliant. That's and better than what I did. We're just looking for 10 ringgit. Uh, and of course, you know, 10 ringgit actually changes yeah. the outcome of these things. And he goes, uh, what would you say? What would you say? Show me a governance framework. <laughs> they... <laughs> They would be able to show you and you would have nothing to deny. That, that's the problem, right? Because it's all a, it's all a pitch. It's no, all a pitch. Because then I you, know, you know, I literally told this WWF girl who came out. To, I mean, I was not as as high up there as you. Uh, I said, your, your pitch, that's something wrong with you. Your, somebody came up to you and then you said, well, your pitch is not strong enough. You know what she you asked me? You are a rock star. You know what she asked me? She said, uh, sir, do you live around here? I mean, what kind of a pitch is What's that? What's that got to do with the price of vegetables in China? Yeah. Wow, I said, wow, you wow. got to, I you mean- want to start strong. So, so I, yeah, exactly. I told her that. I said, you know, people have- not got a lot of time, right? Yeah, Maybe they should yeah. um, spare some time to to have a chat with you. But I, you got to start with, sir. I need your money to save the world, right? Right. Something yeah. strong. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah or maybe yeah. like. It's, it's the headline, it's the, it's the lead, right? But, yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. I mean, but that, his response that, is, I well, felt, I felt me, bad after that. I, I felt bad after that. I, yeah. I, I no, shouldn't have. I don't feel bad I, at I all. I don't know. No, because, I, I felt, you because, don't feel bad at be, all? Because the whole notion of NGOs to today yeah. has been diluted by the fact that if you put in 10 bucks, all the other motherfuckers get their share before the starving Ethiopian. It's about distribution. The starving Ethiopian it's, it's gets, about distribution. My that's why I don't believe. I don't. I don't agree with that. If I'm yeah, going to give, if, but, but I'm going to give you direct. Not have the but distribution. Wrong, haven't, you, but, uh, haven't you been the beneficiary in some shape, way, or form of um, other structures and organizations that have trickled down to you? So, th trickle you down such as effect. trickle down effect. I, I don't know. Such I, as. It's the trickle down effect. Help me out, help me out it's, here. It's the like, trickle down effect. We, we've all we're, not enough though. We've not benefited enough from it. Yes, yes, yes. We've not benefited yeah. enough, but surely that, that, but that cycle see, you of don't, giving you and don't, receiving. You don't wake up saying like, no, who, I'm not who saying, can I give my money to No, I'm to not today? saying don't give. By all means give, but no, make no, sure you give what, wise. What, what I'm saying is that they, they have a, dis <laughs> like organizations like Worldwide Fund and Doctors Without Frontiers and so on, they have a distribution problem because people don't wake up saying, who can I give my money to today, right? So, they need people to go out there to come up to you and say, sir, do you live around here? Uh, and if you do, can I have this 10 minute chat with you, which I could have, you know, could be whittled down to one minute. And they could have said like, give me some money. I, I need to pass this on to a white fund so that they can save the world. But right? that, yeah. hang on. Is that the only thing that would change your mind? Surely a lot of people don't really- No, I mean, no, no, it's not. But, but they, you, they you, have a distribution problem. They, they can't get your money without you voluntarily giving it to them, right? They, yeah. they need to have a pitch yeah. so that you give them some amount of money. But then people don't want to be taxed for it either, right? So then we can't force people, we can't create a structure or mechanism that sort of extracts it automatically, can we? No, you, you don't want to extract it yeah. automatically so, either because that, that would be a real tax, right? So, yeah. so how would you have 
I mean, apart from like that's, the emotion. That's why. That's why she's this girl is. That's walking, what she has to do. Yeah, that, right. that's yeah. why. Yeah. 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 So, so the problem I have, in essence, with all this whole structure, is the intermediaries involved, and every single light layer the of intermediary, man? yes, correct, yeah. Yeah. gets a little bit. Well, right? What's the alternative? Okay. Well, for what's example, well, P to P is one, right? Peer to peer. Okay. Good. Okay. For example, yeah. right? So, yeah. so from 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 one end, so so for example, the the machi with two kids, right, who's single in Kelantan, she goes she goes online, and you in KL can straight away give her ten bucks. You give ten bucks, she gets ten bucks. How Not do like you know bucks. who she is? Okay, so that's where- I was just going to say that. Yeah. I was just going to say that. So that's where technology comes in, right? Yeah. It's about, about transparency. But you don't wake up going onto that platform, you know, giftforyou.com.my or whatever. Whatever it is, yeah. You don't go in there seeking for that mark cheek, you see. Well, you can be, right? If you really wanted to give, you can, right? Yeah. And that's the, there, will, there will be marketplaces for that, hopefully, right? Yeah, yeah hopefully. right. With very, very low entry charges, right? Yeah. Who pay, who charge, who really are interested in getting the, the dollar to the mark cheek. Right, the problem with Medicine Sans Frontier and fucking WWF and you know whatever, whatever. Right, you put in ten bucks here, the, uh, the 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 starving Ethiopian gets two bucks. Eight bucks is taken by the intermediaries. That's the problem I have with it. So I don't have a problem with but, giving. But, but doesn't the eight bucks sustain that that organization? It sustains, I think that number sustains could be them. Wrong. I, I it know what you're saying. I think that number could be wrong because uh, they're they're spending. Their expenses, ratio, or whatever Correct. they call it, it Correct. could be much sure, lower. Sure. Sure. That's why I say, show could me the governance lower. framework, yeah. right? Oh my God, that entire thing was basically just justify your governance framework. Yeah. Yeah. Response. Yeah, wow, yeah. that was. Yeah, yeah. I didn't. I didn't see that boomerang hit back. I, I, I want to make sure that the guy dude, you, gets the ten bucks. Fair enough. I don't want enough. them and their buddies and the, all the CEOs and the bonuses and the salaries and the opex and the air flights and all that. Take eight bucks and then that they wouldn't happen. Two bucks. No, but, but, sure no, no, they, sure they wouldn't happen because uh, you you need to spend to get that ten bucks. See, that's why you I, and I, I differ. Think, I, no, I, I, I want to go think direct. You need to no, but I think I think. Look, I, okay. So I mean, this, my, my perspective is, is 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 different in that, like, my family have my family have a foundation in Klantan to yeah. help yeah. your community of disabled. Yeah. Run it yeah. for twenty years, yeah. right? Yeah. And you know, mom and dad do a a, a a difficult job of asking people for money. So that you know, uh, kids can ride horses to improve their spine and and have all sorts of new bits of technology to improve all of their uh, skills and abilities and stuff. And that stuff costs money. Yeah, and, exactly. And so my perspective of it is the fact that this organization that employs people and the community and then yeah. actually helps out that community directly requires this figure that I know, but my parents have to sort of collect. I it's for me. Knowing that that exists in Kelantan for the past twenty years, I, it's it's more so than expecting somewhere from somewhere else from another community that doesn't have that emotional connection or yeah. that 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 yeah. thing. Yeah. There and and so here's the thing, right? A lot of that funding doesn't come from Kelantan either. It comes from the other economic people. powers yeah. of the Klang Valley. Yeah. And and so that's why organizations is there fat, and could it be trimmed for sure? You're, you're, but but it, 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 for 20 years, there's been something see, there, see, right? Foundations like that and charitable organizations. Yeah, San Orang Klantan, Yoko, you guys can Google it, give money. <laughs> yeah, shout out to that. that. Yeah, 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 San Orang Kurang Upaya Klantan. Okay. Yeah, Yoko. Yeah. So, so the idea here is to uh, get a smaller share of a much bigger pie. Yeah. Right? And that, that, that um, part of that goes to expenses, right? Otherwise, you're, you're getting 100% of an extremely small pie, which might defeat the purpose anyway. I agree with all that. Yeah. I agree with them. That's, that's, that's why the nature of these contributions is, is voluntary. You can either choose to, so you're going to believe. So if I believe in what you do and I've seen it up close and personal right. with my own two eyes, then yeah, all right, cool. I'll give you 10 bucks and I'm sure you're going to give as much of that 10 bucks to the end um, person uh, as that, possible. That, right? that, that, that is the problem. You won't see it Unless someone does something, unless about a machine, yeah, unless yeah, a machine right. comes along, I understand. And, I understand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why. That's why it's for me. It's very. It's highly dis discretionary. And, but, but I think. I think also the first. But it's a very personal thing. Like it's up to you, right? And a lot is. of people will just willy nilly give, and yeah. that's okay with us as well. I think. I think. I think the further it gets, I think if you haven't seen it up close, if you don't have something that sort of relates to your personal experience or family, it's harder to give. It's harder to give. Like, I mean, on YouTube, like everything is about Syria and Yemen and stuff. And like, there's a disconnect, yeah. right? Because we haven't lived in a, in a place where shit is blowing up and there's a war, yeah. but something a lot closer to home, oh, it's, it's, it's much easier, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think even a chance human beings, just human nature, they, they wouldn't give, you know, they, they will hoard all to themselves so that- This they, is the givers and takers thing? 
Yes, there, there, there are more takers than givers, right? And I mean, it, it's, it's yes, there is. I, I I guess it's only natural that there are more takers because there are very very few um, haves in the world. Most of the people in the world are have nots, right? So yeah. uh, the natural attitude is just to make sure that you have enough for yourself before you give to others, which is why um, you know Bernie Sanders was such a phenomenon. Bernie, he, feel the burn, right? I mean, feel he, the he burn. was such a phenomenon feel because. The burn. Is that thing if, real? Is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But B-E-R-N. Burn, love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And the smittens, right? Exactly. <laughs> so so if, if people are not going to do it voluntarily, um, the only way is to force them to do it. Uh, yeah. and, and that is through high taxation. And a progressive tax system would have you taxing the very rich people, well, which is what, what Biden is doing yeah. right now, right? He's how trying do you, to do like that. How do you feel there. about that? I feel like you wouldn't like that, right? I agree with that. Oh, you do agree completely with agree with that. So yeah. the, the more you I mean, if you had a billion bucks, what, yeah, 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 what's yeah. actually because I, I think by nature I'm a socialist. I believe. <laughs> no, yeah, I, yeah, I think yeah. by nature I yeah, am a socialist. I think so, right? but so that's the, why I'm the I'm, Scandinavian I'm, variety. Do you know right. what I mean? We're yeah. all socialists if the money is coming to us. Right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But yeah, you, just, but you want. I think you want more. You want less fat in in, in and, yeah. and more specificity, yeah. right? Yeah. So the Scandinavian form of socialism is is a very nice. It's a very multi layered and and and. All encompassing yeah. kind of like. Uh, you think it will work in Malaysia? I don't think it does. I don't think so. No. Because it's cultural as well, right? It it it, yeah. it is very much commercial. The moment we go on a Scandinavian uh, scheme, right? All the money would pull out of the country. The the money would not because because could you elaborate on that? People people just hate taxes, right? And when you when you start taxing the Scandies, do. People will take their money out. But isn't that, but isn't that so. trust? Isn't, I, well, I mean, from so. that culture, isn't that trust, I guess, in the system, right? Like, isn't that, like, I mean, isn't that because they they believe in, in getting tax because then it creates public services no, for this, the greater good? Okay, so this is supply side first, right? Yeah. Before the demand side. The supply side is that they have a lot of money, right? Norway has got the oil money. Uh, they, they, they are the worth North trillions, fund, right? Yeah. They're, they're, they're worth trillions. They own 1% of every listed company in the world. And other Scandinavian countries are also very rich. So you start with that. So you don't have to deal with the problem of investment outflows. Right. The moment you start taxing people to redistribute, investments will flow out of the country. And which is why GST was such a good idea because GST is not taxing investments. GST is taxing consumption. Taxing consumption is good, right? We worked so hard to get that thing across yeah. the line. Yeah. And, beca yeah. and th That's just because crazy. of a political football, I mean, it, it we was like just it back. crazy to, uh. to take it off uh, the system. It took me like yeah. a year to just like understand it yeah. <laughs> as well. Because I worked really hard at like figuring it out yeah. so I could speak about it on air. Yeah. And then we just like, oh, we're just back to service yeah. and sales tax. Well, you don't know. I think mean, Malaysians could be so desperate now that they will accept anything. Anything other than the Whatever bunch of bloody monkeys we've got in front of us now. Yeah. Right? Um, you, you never know, right? If you can get good, a very good healthcare system, a very good education system, very good how police, do we get police, there? right? We Correct. we must know what we want and we must know how to fund it. How how do we? I mean, obviously, we can say let's eliminate corruption. Like, whoa, <laughs> we'll get a bunch of money, right? But but you still need like a viable tax system. Yeah, to fund yeah. to fund these things. I mean, yes. forty billion from the GSC is is no small change. You know, if you if you Give forty billion to every uh, B forty household. Yeah. That, that's quite a quite yeah. a bit of money to play with. Yeah. So, so, so what we've been discussing for the last yeah. 30, 40 minutes, a huge like um, is it is it thirty huge, forty minutes? Whatever, right? Huge dilemma, huge problems that cannot be solved overnight, right? So, what what can you do? Would you dedicate your life to changing the world's problems, or would you just change yourself, right, wow. and adapt your your life? To, 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 a, to an existence where you're not so bothered by what's happening around the world, right? It's like, I don't give a fuck anymore, right? Yeah. So, so, so there's, there's a certain liberalize, there's a certain liberty to uh, caring less. And I think, I think the Pope there's said that There's a certain liberty to caring less. <laughs> yeah. When you there's care a lot less, of liberty to caring less. Yeah, when you lot, don't care what people think about your car. But that's very get, capitalistic though. Correct, yeah. correct. When you don't care what people think about Seems the way you dress. Seems to be conflicting with your socialist uh, nature. No, but it is. But, no, but it's, it's interesting, no, right? Because it's, yeah, it's, yeah, it's, yeah. it's in you different know, pockets, yeah. right? When I, when I arrive at meetings on my on my cup chai, right? A captain of industry will be like, I can't do that because I have to be seen in my S class. A status now. thing. But I don't give a fuck. Yeah. Because I'm, I believe in substance and not form, right? Yeah. Yeah. There's, there's a certain liberty and a certain beauty not caring a shit what you think about me anymore. Yeah. Right? Who cares, who if, cares? Who cares if you park you on think? the side of the yeah. road, even though it's like, yeah. you know, at yeah. first hour Correct. free in, indoors, Correct. right? Correct. 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 <laughs> I don't give a shit. 
Right? We spend all our lives caring about what people think about us, trying to impress people we don't like. I don't give a fuck, man. I don't give a You've shit. earned it. You've earned uh, OPR for sure. But not necessarily you. Yeah. Not necessarily that you have to be an OP, OP to be an OPR. You can have that no, at 20 years old, you know, which is why I think minimalism has gained so much traction. Yeah. But but as a but as a young person, as a young yeah. person, I mean, th there's there's so much going on in terms of your 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 identity and, and your understanding of the self that yeah. you can't you can't just sort of see OPR apply it, copy and paste because then you're just faking it all the way and then no, 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 the, no, 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 okay. So this whole bunch to, whole to truly have, oh, don't give a fuck. Yeah. You need to have lived shit. Found you, need, you need to have money and too. Understand. And you need to have money too. Not necessary. I, I think Not necessary. Is, is Not necessary. Class thing. I think we have an entire generation. <laughs> we have an entire generation of young people now who don't want to buy a house, who don't want to buy a car. Not don't, don't want wanna, is different from can't. No, there are there are a lot who don't want to get married and have kids. Right, they will get together, no doubt about that, right? But they wanna, <laughs> <laughs> for sure, who doesn't, oh, right? Wow. Um, yeah, do you know what I mean, right? But they don't wanna have the children or the car installment or the higher purchase or the mortgage, So right? When, um, when you but say- what do when they, they don't wanna have a nine to five job and a boss, right? I, I So I, I think I understand what you're saying. When you, say that, about when you say that you don't care, it means that you you are going to desire less yeah. so that you can live happily, right? Yeah. It's, it's not about just, uh, spending the money that you have on whatever you want to, right? You, you, yeah, yeah. It's, it's a minimalism thing to desire less yeah. so that you don't have to spend so much, right? Yeah. Okay, got yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so that's the whole you, generation and, of minimalists. And, and you want more, out. you want, I think you also like more freedom in your choices Absolutely. as well. Absolutely, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. because all those things are jail terms, right? A mortgage is a jail term. A high purchase agreement is a jail term. A credit yeah. card is a jail Agreed. term, yeah. right? Agreed. Marriage yeah. is a jail term. Children are a jail term. Wow, just right? drop. I, I like that everything went through and then marriage is a jail term. Marriage is a just fucking jail term. Just slip yeah. that in. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. This yeah. is right. the end right. of, of the family, never of the family nucleus as we know it. Oh, um, Alex Rodriguez, A-Rod, and uh, right. Jennifer Lopez. Well, I, I mean, you got them right, they're not I, married. I, I thought that was going to, yeah. I, I, well, I, I did, I'm surprised it lasted yeah, as long as it did, but very sad news, very sad news. You see, so, so. I buy into that shit. I think I think the young people have got their minds in the right place. Forget the fucking uh, Hyundai Accord, man. Forget the nine to five steady paycheck. Live by your wits. Become a freelancer. Skill up. Level yeah. up in yeah. whatever it is. Coding, design, UI, UX, whatever, whatever. I mean, and sell your stuff online. You mm -hmm. can. Mm -hmm. the, the, the temp is, do you feel like for a lot of people who, if, if they follow what you just proposed, I, I, I'm not seeking followers. No, 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 I'm just as a, as a, as a, as a, as a proponent of that idea and structure, yeah. right? Yeah, Which yeah. is something that I'm going through as well, right? Just, yeah. just, just going for it, just doing, yeah, yeah. doing your own thing and, yeah, yeah, yeah. and forget the sort of the institution so much. You can, yeah. you can make things happen. Yeah, yeah. Like, do you think there are enough templates of success around us to say, yeah, that's really feasible and that everybody gets that opportunity? Or is it now even more so just because as long as you have a cell phone yeah. with, a, with a camera sure. that and, and, and data that yeah, you yeah. can make things Correct. happen, is there enough? You don't need templates of success because right. every person is very specific to their own set of circumstances. Yeah. You don't need those paragons of virtue yeah. to model yeah. and to reverse engineer. Yeah. It doesn't work, right? Yeah. You want to be Elon Musk, you cannot be Elon Musk. You cannot have his circumstances, you cannot. You can have your own, and you just make do with what you have, right? It's like fucking, uh, it's 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 like what um, you know. You you get a box of chocolates, and you just choose your own the chocolate you want to eat first. Wow. You know yeah. what I mean? Wow. I, I just, think just, I think you're right because you, you start so strong, and then you finish in Forrest Gump. <laughs> Forrest Gump. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Forrest, don't stop running, man. It's a great film. Yeah, yeah, hundred yeah. percent. But but you're right. I think because technology is making all that easy. Hundred yeah. percent, man. Like just to reach yeah. people, it's getting yeah. easier. Yeah, yeah. I was in Nepal two years ago, right? I met this young South Korean chick who was, who was doing the, 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 the trail by herself, right? Mm -hmm. And she, she said, I, I don't wanna get married. I don't have children. I don't wanna buy a car. I don't wanna buy a house. I just wanna travel the world and just have fun, right? So I said, what are you gonna do in five years time? She said, I don't care. Then I met How a old Spanish. Is she? she was made 28, 29. Okay. Bit hot, like, quite hot actually. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I gotta say that, right? Upon reflection. Upon reflection. No, it was at the time. I could, right, you know, right, yeah, right, yeah, right, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. 
And then I, I, I met this German couple. This was right? just two years ago, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. And I found a base, base camp. I'm right? sure your wife is watching this. I told her already. She was okay. the first person I told her. <laughs> yeah, 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 no, no. I did. I did. This, is, this is what I love the most. Like, he has this moment where the first he's person He's covered his ass. My wife. He's no, she's, covered hot. His ass. she's hot. You have to say that she's hot, like, yeah. because you know what I mean? Of course. It's part yeah. of the perspective, yes, right? Yes, yes, yeah, yes. The preference. thing is, at 28, and, and by the time she's reached 35, you know, regrets. Regrets. I don't, I don't regrets know. Regrets right? that yeah. you and I I've had consider many. regrets. Regrets I've had many. But, but, yeah, 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 yeah. But but isn't that? But you know, she's saying that based on her context and experience. Then yes, I mean things change. I Correct. mean, and know. at the time, then you you adapt, blah. Right? Yeah, because you can never get it right all the time. You know. Have you guys seen that movie Into the Wild? Is it? Yeah, Into yeah, the yeah, Wild? Yeah, 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 yeah. The guy yeah. Who, who's that? Who's yeah. in that? Uh, it's. It's I read the book and watched the movie yeah, as well. It's yeah. about this guy who wow. comes from a rich family, wow, right? Wow. He forsakes it all, forsakes the college education, forsakes the wealth of the father, decides to go and go Literally solo. Literally cut up his credit card. Cut up his credit card, yeah. went to live in the Alaskan wilderness, Ooh. eventually dies. Is this right? Jeff Bridges or something? No, 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 no. no, no. Okay, no, never mind. No, no. Yeah. It sounds like it brilliant, could star brilliant, Jeff Bridges. Brilliant. I love the story. No, look, this this is going to be uh, something of a very, very small spoiler, right? But uh, <laughs> obviously, because. <laughs> Because he died, right? How yeah. how the, how did the filmmakers know his story? Because, so because they found his notebook, yeah. wow. right? Yeah. They, he he died being he died alone, yeah. and and in one part of the notebook he said, "Life is about something along the lines of life." You know my my. Um, Quotes and memories of movies are quite bad, as you can see. Yeah, he, yeah. Reservoir Dogs to <laughs> he he sets it up real uh, nice, and then I just well, okay, got to watch the but, film but, to figure it out. Here's the thing: he in his notebook he said, uh, "Life is about love," and I may be paraphrasing. <laughs> life is about love, and life is about being with people. Like here, here, yeah, yeah. here is a guy. So he screwed up. He made a mistake. Here is a guy who went who who left society, right? Tore up his money and his credit cards. And left alone, and and he wanted to come back to society, and he died. Okay, that's a spoiler. Right? Yeah, yeah. Well, but <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I not mean, all but, not all yeah. stories end the same way. Fantasy yeah. like lah, you know. So yeah. he, but so yeah, you're 28 like, right now, and you say this is how I want to live my life. It might not be that. It might not be the case when you're correct. 35. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. And, and then you adapt lah, right? You don't need to yeah. have a hundred million in your account. A bungalow with seven rooms and twelve cars. You don't true, need it. True, you don't true, need it, right? Yeah. We've talked about this well, before. Well, you don't need it, but like everything I see on my phone about what constitutes success and what constitutes ah, ambition and don't look at the phone. No, no, of course. You're looking at Instagram. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's but, yeah. Problem. No, 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 of course. But like, I know that that's not real. But a lot of yeah. younger people see that and say, "Oh, I need to be like that. I need to have five hundred thousand right. views of my videos." So, yeah. so. It's it's I, I think it's it's nice for us to say that you know you can and you could but the structures which is what he doesn't like because of the corporate yeah. governance structure yeah. <laughs> the structures in play reinforce these things that you yeah. need these these very sort of materialistic things to actually create and, so, and have a gateway towards that happening so who built Instagram and who owns who owns Instagram today Are the we lizard going back the to alien, the alien. No, no, no the, the, the lizard who is an alien right and what is he trying to pro propagate. Right, I got weird things coming up on my uh, Instagram suggestions. I've got Facebook like girls owns Instagram, TikTok dancing yeah. on my. How did that happen? What I I I'm having a, like a very specific sh uh, hair shaver for. Like, <laughs> oh yeah, me too. Are you getting that? Yeah, as well? yeah, yeah. What are, are the, what are the ads are you get? What are, what ads are you getting? Uh, I don't check social media. Oh my god, at all. He's a little bit here and there. Like, a little bit here, yeah, just yeah. to keep in touch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I think you're an alien too. I I think I. Am. But I think that's really. But I think that's really healthy. If I can get to. Um, where Chuang is in his life and sort of a fast even, is it a, a social media fast I mean I'd love to be able to do no I don't know I check lah but I don't check a no, lot no no I know so but yeah yeah, yeah I understand. so just to know what's going on and there's reels and the reels are pretty fucking cool I've got a few reels myself the you know reels mean? are reels are brilliant crazy yeah yeah reels are the grown up <laughs> version of TikTok I, I, I have no I can, idea I, I, I know he was just like Reels are crazy. I just love it. I was like, is he trolling me? Does he know what reels are? <laughs> do you because know what I do. Reels are? Yeah, I do. I do. No, no, let, let, can I show you yeah. some of my reels? Okay. Never mind. No, no. Make it <laughs> can we, can I, oh my god, I'm, I'm freaking out that he actually knew what reels was. But, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. but it's just like for real. It's just fun, you know, it's, it's, it's just ridiculous. A big, it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Amazing. But yeah. they're fun, right? They're fun. <laughs> and it's they're, it's yeah. just ridiculous. Right. No, but okay. But too much of that fucks with your head. Yeah. So 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 and so the point is is that. I think I think that road to 
gaining identity and 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 happiness and and all of that becomes a lot more complicated. I mean, as you said, it's so much more complex. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah. And, and and I would love for more people to adopt this Kappa DM thing at a younger yeah. stage, build yeah. those skills and yeah. tool sets. I mean, I've um, I was just speaking to my mom uh, the other day, and we're just talking about like you know where we've been in like family holidays and stuff but also where i went to study like going to australia and going to canada and stuff like and just of course now i'm working and earning money it's really it's really crazy to figure out how much money has been spent on like education right yeah. education is just like that whole that whole idea crazy is idea. crazy it's crazy it's crazy. It's crazy the education industrial complex that's what it is yeah, yeah. yes and 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 now with with everything that we know about skilling up and learning and what it's got nothing what, what, what to do with the tertiary has, education yeah. Yeah. nothing yeah. and so like I, I just can't imagine like for for younger people who actually still are still going through these processes primary um, you start in daycare uh, play school and you go through all of these things but it doesn't necessarily really prepare you for what yeah. what the tools that you actually need to sort yeah. of to have you get, seen yeah. okay th- another another movie recommendation you, are you <laughs> Is he doing anything else but watch movies? Have, 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 have you seen that work, college work, scam yeah. anywhere? Have you seen that college scam thing on Netflix? Oh, you should watch yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, the yeah, admission scam. Yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. It's a fucking farce, right? Yeah, this but is I, the, I mean, yeah. these are like really, really rich people with very, very smart kids who are paying uh, the, for for a membership in the Ivy the League. Ivy League like, school, right? What's the point of oh, that? Oh, Felicity yeah. Huffman did it for a kid. Yeah. Yes, the wow. Felicity Huffman, yeah. I think, was in Desperate Housewives. Yeah, and I yeah. think they, okay. she did it for her kids. And she, I think she served some time. Yeah, really. Yeah, that's yeah, my yeah, yeah, that's yeah, my yeah. final. I movie. mean, she was one of the big ones. Oh, do you remember um, uh, Laurie Laughlin from Full House? Um, <laughs> Uncle Jesse's wife. Uh, Aunt Becky. That goes back too far for you as well. Full House? Yeah, I never watched that. You never watched John Stamos and Bob Saga? John Stamos? How do you know John Stamos? <laughs> John Stamos was I know, on Full I know. House. He was a good looking guy, yeah, right? Yeah, so All his the- his. Um, on screen wife um, Laurie Laughlin Laurie Laughlin also was um, yeah, part, of I, it. I, part yeah. of it as well right. there were yeah, a right. lot of rich and famous in that I will like, not pay money involved. to get my kid into Harvard if you can't fucking yeah. get in you don't deserve <laughs> yeah, to be yeah, there yeah, you yeah. don't deserve <laughs> to be there right you don't deserve <laughs> to be there right? I, I want to get into Harvard just to set up a 40 billion dollar company I, I've, you, know? I, you know what you know, you, <laughs> yeah I, sure you don't you know what I really like I really, I really like um, eventually meeting people that because they went to Harvard and because you just met them I know somebody who went to Harvard. Okay, but wait, 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 hang on. Before you get it, but I like how, I like how long it takes for them to bring it up in conversation. Yeah, yeah. Like they, it's, it's just they so they gotta drop it like twenty-seven it seconds. In, like right. Oh, during my days in Harvard, I met this guy. <laughs> yeah. And and I, and it. I mean, I used to get pissed off about it, but now I'm sort of like actually sort of quite curious. Like, oh, what what other sort of like archetypes are gonna fit in into this conversation? And for all you yeah. know, they were there for like a, a one month course or something. It's all you need. It's all you need. It's all you need. Yeah, the yeah, AMP, yeah. right? The Advanced Management Program. Yes. Simple, two weeks. Yeah. Harvard lah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. I want to do that course. How much is that? A lot. Just just so that I can it's, be part a of lot. the conversation. Maybe hundred thousand. How do you how how do you view education? Because because you got kids and yes. we don't. Like, how do you view that lens about? Sort of, I mean, it's a, such a it's huge. A game. It's a game. It's a game. It's a game. It's a scam. Yeah. It's a game. No, it no, is. I know, but, but what, yeah. how, how? So, I guess my question is like, how do you view it, and like, what is your relationship to it? Like, are you are you saying kids or work hard and get that scholarship because we're gonna like you know figure it's that like out? It's like a cover or? charge, you know. Yeah, yeah. like yeah, what was yeah. what's the thinking okay. or approach? To life. Yeah. Cover charge to life. So I've, got, ch- I've got friends who are not sending their kids to university for sure. Yeah, really? like, I mean, yeah. they, they said they're going to do the 12 years, yeah. but they're not sending their kids and, to university. And is that based out of, um, like, they, they thought about it? They, they thought they, about they, it. And what what is the uh, It's just, it's just you, you need, you need, well, basically it's, it's social networks for the for first yeah. 12 years and like just, you know, being a human being and, and, right. having, and, and right. learning the essentials. Yeah. And, you know, you can go public school or private school or whatever. But after that, just, you know, still expending, uh, still giving out money for courses online right, and master right, class right. and Khan yeah, Academy yeah. and all that I think that kind that's of the stuff. way to go. Correct. I'm not necessarily doing yeah. tertiary education. Correct. Because, yeah. So I'm just wondering if you had- 100%. I'm on board with that. Yeah, right, 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 um, right. And even where you go to school, the first 12 years, it doesn't have to be Alice Smith or Cardin School. Forget that. Yeah. If you can't afford it, forget it. Yeah. Don't don't go there, right? Because yeah. it's all about social networks, who you know. But more importantly, what you become in life as a human being, it's after you come out from school and you go into the real world. That's what shapes you as, a, as an individual how hard you work, how quick you learn the rules of life, all these things, right? Socialization and, and dealing with other human beings. You don't learn that in university or school, right? Dealing with your money and being liquid and being safe financially. You don't learn any of that in school. 
I love, I love being liquid. I haven't heard that in a long time. Yeah, that, yeah. Was, being, that was that's yeah, Papa yeah, bro. Yeah. That's Papa. Jamming. You know Jamming. what I mean, bro? Yeah, being yeah, liquid, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah <laughs> but 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 when did you learn that? I've always known it. No, because okay, because no, you, I, went, but, I went through but, I went through it yeah, I went yeah, yeah, through yeah, yeah. it and I realized the futility of the private education and going abroad for it because you come out with such a huge hole it takes you years maybe never yeah, to come out yeah. of that hole yeah. I realized it's not worth the money it's not worth the stress on your parents it's not worth the stress on your your family it's not worth it but it's kind of like a ticket you know for like in in today's world it's a ticket to success right whatever no, whatever no. it gets you through the door it doesn't yeah. get you the girl. <laughs> <laughs> it gets into the club. It gets into amnesia in, in Ibiza, right? But it doesn't wow. get you the bird at wow. the end of the bar. Ibiza I mean, reference. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Yeah. Amnesia, That's mate. speaking from experience. I, mean, ah. I think, I think gonna, the more, there are going to be more club references that have already yeah, closed yeah, down. Yeah. <laughs> like, amnesia is still going strong, is it not? Is it, not? it I, must be. Come I have on, no idea. Ibiza. I have no clue what you're talking about. Yeah, it's, it's the, it's, yeah anyway. It's oh, the, I miss, I miss, you know, I desperately miss going to a club. Yeah, I, I mean, same, I, yeah. I haven't been, I, you know, in terms of like a proper party, yeah. like, I mean, Let's do it. Let's do it one of these days. But, but you know, but here's the thing. You I, can't go on. No, 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 oh, yeah, not now. Anyway. <laughs> Nothing. Like the, the UK, I think the UK is having its first rave. I think 13, 15,000 yeah. people. I well, saw. Glastonbury didn't happen last year. Yeah, yeah. Glastonbury yeah. didn't happen this but, year. But just, but just the first rave. I mean, that party is, I mean, just for people's like expression of everything. Is rave still a up. thing today? Yeah, it is. is yeah, EDM yeah. is still a thing. Yeah. 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 I want to yeah. go to Burning Man, man. For Burning Man. Uh, I, don't, I, I think I missed the bird on that one. I think yeah. I, I'm, as in- You were there, you should have done it. No, no, I wasn't there. You don't there. even have the t-shirt, hello as no, well. No, 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 but, but I, I mean, I've, I've got friends who've gone to Burning Man. And yeah. I've just heard of it. And I'm like, yeah, I, I can't do it. I'm too old now. Yeah. Like, I mean, it's just so wild that yeah, like, yeah. I'm yeah. I'm just going to fall out of place. Oh, look at, the, he, just, he just licked his lips. He was, just, <laughs> he was so excited. Just the notion. You, I you, still, you would still do it, would you? I want to go to been, um, no. uh, an annual general meeting of Berkshire Hathaway. I want to do that. No, I'm just That's kidding. Like a pilgrimage. I'm, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I want to go there. That, that, that have sounds. Some, that have sounds. Some, have some fucking. Well, what's a sweets he sells, right? You know those sweets. I like that he Coke, made the Coke, Coke. Yeah. the AGM of Berkshire Hathaway. That, like, we, we were we were in Ibiza. I was at the Fuji Rock Festival. And, and then like, it's he, I'm, I'm just taking the piss out of you guys. <laughs> <laughs> But actually, that would be pretty cool, actually, though. Yeah, yeah. it might be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It would be pretty cool. I think this year it's uh, a virtual event. Yeah, not the that. same, though. Yeah. Seize, seize, seize Candies. Yeah. What's that? It's one of his investments, Seize Candies. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, what does it do? Um, it's just really nice and very addictive, full of sugar. Um, oh, really? It's candy that Feel Warren Buffett owns under Berkshire Hathaway. Warren, but, but Warren Buffett's dietary habits, like. And he's still alive, so. But that's not good. Because he's rich. No, but he like doesn't he eat burgers and drink burgers coke all and the time. Coke all the time. But yeah, yeah so yeah. but but just but I I think we can distinguish like his financial prowess versus his dietary his health, habits, yeah, right? Like yeah. I mean, people. I think he pays for a new lung and heart oh, well, every well, two months well, that's or something. Fair, then. Yeah, I guess yeah. I guess I didn't yeah. know that that was an option. <laughs> I didn't know that was on the menu. Yeah, <laughs> maybe I don't know. I'm guessing here. But do you do you but do you guys foresee? I mean, I don't. You talk about going to Burning Man and going just about these sort of. Places where you can I, just imagine. I I don't even have, I don't have like a a date in mind when like like an like anybody the air, can travel. Like the airport. Like I saw a posting of uh, a, a sort of a um, a prominent um, person in Malaysia go to the airport because he was flying off to London. I guess on business or whatever. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I didn't think that anybody was. I mean, of course, there's. Is this the travel. same guy who went to Saudi Arabia? I'm not sure. I'm not oh, sure. Oh yeah, that guy. He's got a top, yeah. Right. Uh, Arthur and uh, AA, that guy. Yeah. Anyway, I, I don't yeah. know the name. Anyway, that guy, that guy. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. but but just like, I don't have a date as to when like that possibility is even irreal. I, do you guys have I, a date? I don't know. Like, like, but I you mean, guys don't imagine it, right? Like, I don't think about it. I haven't thought it's of a very, holiday for it, ages. It's very interesting because um, I'm reading, I'm reading the headlines on Wall Street Journal and other financial press. And some of these analysts are targeting the third quarter um, of this go, year, man. of this year, for America to be normalized, as in people are going out and doing their thing. Like by the third quarter of of this year, of 2021. So well, Biden, so, Biden's getting people jabbed up, though. Oh well, kind and, of. And, and what's interesting, up. I think, what's interesting about that is how this will actually, I guess, influence yeah. like. All the other countries, I, I want to be like that, you know, I want to do that. It'll apply a certain amount of pressure. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
not not on pressure, like like the pull, you know, the pull of being like that, being like yeah. that. Yeah. But but I mean, it's sort of that soft power pressure in a correct. sense that yes. like correct. But it's only on the basis that if you actually hit certain targets and milestones of like vaccination, herd immunity, and yes, everything. But, yes. Yes. But I mean, that's the thing, right? Every other. I think they are they're at sixty or seventy percent now in America. In, yeah. I, I don't 200 know two hundred million, right? So this is uh, yeah. they've just counted the number of people in America. Yeah. Officially, three hundred thirty-two million. A lot. So that that's so about, that's six, about two thirds. Yeah, two thirds, two thirds. Yeah, two thirds, yeah. give or take. So I, I I finally I finally met somebody who I knew knew like a friend's a friend's grandmother who's like in the nineties is just about to get jabbed up. So, yeah. mm-hmm. but I mean I'm just trying to think like when is that when is that coming to like you know anybody from senior citizens to like people lower down the age. So we got to instill that wanna be attitude, you know, like because everyone is doing it, we should do it yeah. too. Yeah. yeah. But a lot of people are not going to as well. Like, I mean, I've heard those conversations. I, I just had like a, di- yeah. a dinner conversation with a family member who uh, started talking about um, one of those vaccines and and sort of putting a lot of question marks at his uh, on, at the end of those sentences to suggest that, you know, it's not necessarily safe and everything. And I didn't even want to engage in a conversation. Why not? Because it's, it's, it's I, an intellectual because- discussion. But it's not. But it's an emotional one as well. And I'm not. And it is. It's, it's it, is an, very, it doesn't it, have to be though. It's yeah, very but emotional. like yeah. a lot of folks, a lot of folks don't apply that that rational thinking when it comes to something like this. It applies to whatever they read on WhatsApp. And so I didn't want to get to my first question. In my it's head true. was: yeah. Did you read it on WhatsApp or did you read it on Facebook? Initially, that was going to be my no, first okay. question. So in, in in issues like this, you just use your common sense, right? In a normal world where things were not crazy, how long does it take to develop a vaccine, right? How long? Like five years? Seven years? Three years, four years, whatever, right? Unless you put all resources to yeah, put all the right, resources right, and, yeah. and you follow all the protocols yeah. in terms of testing and, and going back and drawing board, whatever, right? We have come out, right? At least what there was two hundred versions of the vaccine, right? And today, what? because we what? put out all stuff, right? For correct, correct, yeah, right, yeah, 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 yeah. correct. Oh, right, 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 but right. in the mainstream, there's maybe four or five, right? Yeah. Okay. How many of those went through the correct protocols and, the, and all the testing that makes it safe for for mass vaccination? None of them. None of them. No, I, do we I don't even think know, I agree. I do we even know what they're going to inject into your body? We don't. We don't. We've got no idea. And within the entire gene slicing, right, how many of those are assumptions? You, I don't you, know. You didn't know that with a polio vaccine or with, with the BCG or I agree. whatever. They, no, I agree. Yeah. Right. But the people who have... It, it, it's who, it's who, proxied. I, I, I think the knowledge is, is kind of proxied out, but it, it, it was kind of messed up somewhere along the did, way. I, yeah. I, I, so, I, you know, as, as you're saying this, I guess, I think my immediate reaction is like, is it always that we don't give like the smart people, like the scientists enough props to know what they're doing and talking about, I guess? Like, do we always, do, do the dummies like us always... Like just say you guys are fucking it up somewhere. Could, but isn't their methodology and their entire career based on, you know, creating yeah. these things and and safeguards to well, make sure part, that part of, part of the problem is that the people who have come out with the vaccines are, have come out from pharmaceutical companies, right? Right. So so Pfizer, for example, AstraZeneca, for example, sure. right? Um, these Oxford are not companies with Oxford. a very good track record of being good to people or being good to the environment. Yeah. Right. There's been many cases through history where they've just taken the piss, right? Poison societies destroyed communities, what have you. They don't have a track record of being good. They have a track record of being bad. And you're putting the future- When you say bad, like because bad because they product, is it because they're making a lot of money or is it bad because like they've done things that are harmful? Because that's two different things. Both. Well, but yeah, but it's Both. two different things, right? Like you can create a product that is not necessarily like harm, that, that's like directly harmful to you versus creating a product that does have some yeah, positive they, benefits got, and they make money, right? Pill. I mean, cancer pills, you know, is my very uh, layman v- way of saying it. They, they've, they've come up with all sorts of treatments, the good along with the bad, you know, but uh, the, the point no, the about- pro- No, so, so they might have cancer pills, right? But the way they view the, the delivery of those pills is not an ethical one. For example, right? If you don't have money, you cannot have a cancer pill, right? Um, if, if, if you can only cure cancer by eating my medicine, but you don't but talk the, about the changing your lifestyle. The government's giving away the vaccines for free. You Correct. Just have to no, sign up but what for, I'm talking yeah. about is the organizations themselves who have come up with these vaccines. They don't. Have, what I'm saying is that the question marks partly arise not just because of the testing periods, but also because of the people that have come up with the vaccine. They don't have a track record of being good people. That's what I'm saying. Okay. Just, I, I, so I know what just, you're saying, but, there, but you see, a, there, there is 
there is a point where you come to where either you say I will get COVID or I will not. Right? I agree. That that I that agree. is we are we are I at agree. this point right now because uh, the variants are developing and it's becoming a very dangerous situation right I, now. I if, agree. If we don't vaccinate, so I'm saying there's a lot of things we don't yeah. know. Right? It's whether you're going to buy into it or not. Whether you're going to take it or not, it's up they're, to you. They're largely safe, I think. Uh, the efficacy, uh, the, I mean, from, from what I read, I, the scientific conclusions that are coming out of it is that you have to take the vaccine. You have to vaccinate. Yeah. So I will take the vaccine, yeah. right? But I have a lot of question marks. But if I'm, if I'm in line, I'll take it. Right? right. Yeah. I'll take it. No question about it. I'll take okay. it. Yeah, for sure. I, but do right? you, but, but, but I will... I will not know exactly 100% what they're putting into that vaccine. I don't know. Yeah. I I mean, like, it, it, it's, it's really interesting because, I mean, I, I'm I'm similar to you in that I'm, I'm definitely going to take it as well. But yeah. I'm just too, I'm, I'm too down like the the on the on the smart dummy scale to really even question, like, because I'm all about, like, I just want to live. Like, I just really want to live. And and if this guy, this, this these couple of jabs gives me that that window that I can sort of extend my life so that I don't get rocked out by this COVID guy, because I feel like the discussion about, oh, you know, the, the safety and danger of COVID, it's always so immediately belittled, but we've got so many people who've passed away in the past year or so that 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 directly or indirectly caused by it. It's like, it's, it's such a weird yeah. thing to not the want economic- to- Fallout will kill people as well. Yeah, yeah. for sure, for, for sure. sure, for sure, yeah. for sure. So it's I, I think which it, is why we're doing this because we're trying to make yeah, money, right? Yeah, it's because <laughs> <it's, laughs> this is going to save us. <laughs> you know, it's, it's it's come to a point where I don't think it's a choice thing. It's very uh, is is so important and sad at the same time. Like whether you take a vaccine or not right now is not a choice thing because your actions impact society. Yeah. yeah. And, it's it's going to come to that point. Uh. Yeah. They will make it, they will stop short of, le- of uh, making it illegal to not take a vaccine because it will be so difficult for you to not have taken a vaccine that is going to be compulsory. For example, if you don't take a vaccine, you don't get you a digital travel. passport, you can't travel. Yeah. Yeah. You can't go to Penang and see your parents. They'll make it hard for you to live. They'll make it hard for you to live. Yeah. 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 Simple as that. You can't buy If you stuff. don't have a digital passport, you can't eat in this restaurant. And it could be McDonald's. You don't know, right? Hey, so, sorry, I missed out. I really missed out on this digital passports conversation. What is a digital passport? So if, you, if, if you're jabbed. Can travel. Okay. okay. If, if I'm jabbed. jabbed. If you're jabbed. Yeah. Uh, you just got a little chop in your whatever, right? In my your phone? I see like, I see whatever. Yeah. Right, right. And then. And then and it just. Oh, okay. You can go in. Right. Yeah. But, but, so, but the conversation seems to stem around certain concerns about, is it privacy? Or what are the concerns about a digital passport? That's what I'm asking, I guess. I, I, have I you guess, heard about this? Like um, any concerns about a digital passport, about what that represents? Well, it's, it's, it's basically tracking, right? Oh, right. right, right, it's, right, it's tra- right it's tracking. Right. So with a digital passport, right, the government knows exactly where you are at oh, any no. point in time, right? Right, right. So, so it's like in the 70s, you know, you had these spooks running around working <laughs> but for they the can KGB. Track you with your passport. <laughs> like and you they, would, they put I bugs in your. Spooks. Yeah, do you know what I mean, right? <laughs> John LeCarrie. I read a lot of John LeCarrie. John LeCarrie, which is yeah. beautiful. Also. So there's bugs in your roof. Yeah. So they spend a lot of money to track you, right? Today, yeah. You're buying the stuff that's tracking you 24 seven. I know, I know. That's how crazy. And we're making it, is. it in high def too. <laughs> exactly, right? Fucking 10k, 1k, fucking, uh, you know. Yeah. 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 So. Can't wait. Can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> we're already there, okay? Yeah. George Orwell wrote about this oh, 50 years ago. Right? What a guy. Big eh? brother's watching you. Big brother has been watching you for the last 20 years. Yeah. I remember, I, rem- yeah. I remember, I remember reading the book, and then, um, but uh, for, for school. But then I think um, I knew that there was a movie version. <laughs> so you watched the movie. So you watched the yeah. movie version yeah, of yeah. it, and then, but you, you know, kind of like the Matrix when you, you like, I was there. Where you're just watching it a bit too early for your brain to fully understand it. But then when you really start, sort of, I mean, I came to my sort of like late teens, early twenties, and you start understanding what he was writing about. Yeah. And it's like, man, these guys who sort of just had that time to sort of really find solace and just write these yeah. elegant, compact, engaging, but dangerous ideas. But yeah. when I say dangerous, like good ideas. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Like that's, I mean, and it, it, applies, it applies very much to today. Like it's literally playing out exactly as how he wrote it. You know what the last bastion of your privacy is now? Oh, I don't know. Cash. Cash is your last cash bastion is of privacy, king. right? Um, once you take away cash and you make everything digital, that's it. You lost every component of your uh, autonomy. I, I, don't think, I don't think it's such a big leap anyway because they're, they're already tracking you. 
I, yeah. I don't think the cash makes a difference. Yeah, well, you know, yeah. if, if you're buying a, a bit of gear or down, down the street corner and you, you <laughs> transact in cash, they don't know about it, right? And they can't tax you GST. Which, because, which street corner is this? I'm talking in, in, like, in, I want to know. I, I'm talking on in the fictional corner, terms. On the corner of spooks. <laughs> Fit and six. On the corner of spooks and gear. <laughs> <laughs> spooks and gear. Okay. Right? So, so that's... It doesn't change. exist. It doesn't, I, no, that, that street right? corner doesn't exist. Cash means the grubby fingers of government can't tax you for GST or any kind of tra- transaction tax. No, that's crypto. Tax. That's crypto. That's why they're afraid of crypto. Yeah. Because of the decentralization of something. Yeah. yeah, that's yeah. Right. Do you know that in Singapore, it is so open and easy to use crypto now? I've got a friend that, I just talked to him about a month ago, right? He's got a crypto credit card, Visa, by the way. He can trans- he can buy MRT tickets, which will You need crypto? Yeah. Which oh, wow. will then de- deduct his uh, crypto account and you can choose. Is it going to come out from his... Um, Doge, his Ether, or what? his Bitcoin. Really? Yes. Wow. Or, yeah, or, that, that or, or is Zilliqa. why he can choose. I, I'm, I'm choose. talking about uh, Satoshi's idea of crypto and not 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 the accepted mainstream idea. That is of why. Yeah. That is why they are so all the big money laundering capitals of the world, whether it's Zurich or Singapore or Hong Kong, they're very open and very liberal with with crypto because yeah. they want to get their hands on it. I think it's a case of you can't beat them, join them. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, I think that wasn't Satoshi's idea. It wasn't. Yeah. It was never part of it. Yeah. yeah. So anyway, that's exciting. If, it is uh, very exciting. If, if Singapore is accepting crypto, it's completely cards, open. Really? Yes. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. 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 And this guy I talked to, he's got no fiat. The only fiat he's got is just to pay on a daily basis. He doesn't right? buy stuff in street corners. In, it's, oh, in Singapore. In Singapore. <laughs> in Singapore. <laughs> nah, you're not in buying Singapore. That, that, yeah, that you're not buying anything on the street His life savings are in a cold wallet on Bitcoin. Really? That he's, he, he's at his, wow. that, that's his, that's his savings. That's his goal. That's his life. His, his lifestyle must whiplash from day to day, right? Yeah, but he's, 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 he's got enough of it. He's, yeah, got he's a minimalist. Yeah. He's late twenties, right? Yeah. He's completely mobile. So he does all his work remotely. He's going to go and live in Bali. They're all the well, crypto it depends. guys. Yeah, 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 it depends. Yeah. Bali's kicking out, kicking out a lot of people now. Yeah, yeah. So, so, yeah. so if you don't have your digital passport, yeah. you can't get in. Your name's not on the list. You're off the Christmas list. <sighs> yeah, yeah. Man. So that's how the world is working. La. It's a weird world we live in nowadays. I wish, I yeah, I mean, it's like, I, 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 I just saw my nephew recently, right? And, you know, he, he, he's, he's got his phone on. You know, and like he goes switches between TikTok and stuff. I always ask him what you're watching, and like, and he's already begun this thing where he's 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 clearly not interested in the actual what's going on on TikTok. He's just he's just doing that action. And do you remember when the smartphone was just he, flipping through? You're just flipping through, like, right? Flipping, flipping channels, lah. Yeah, and mm-hmm. and it's like it's already within his rhythm already, right? And like, I mean. I certainly came on that transition where like when dial-up was happening. So like, I can still, I can still imagine, I guess, having that moment of being off the grid, right? Yeah. Like of, of just disconnecting or having a, a social media fast for X amount yeah. of hours or days. But for like, for, for him, I just thought, I was just, I don't know, I felt worried, I guess, not that he does it all the time or anything, but just that it's already in his wheelhouse. He's like a proper native. He's 10 now. 10. Okay. Yeah. So what yeah. makes that different from the couch potato who was surfing MTV and all the other channels on, on cable in the 80s, fat as shit, right? Just going through channel. And, you know, cable in the, in the 80s, you had like 3,000 channels. We didn't but, have that in no, Asia. But, though, but, but the right? difference, well, my, we, my, yeah, my opinion yeah. is, the difference is that shit, like in terms of like the couch potato in the States who had m- many channels, yeah. didn't serve... The all stuff the time, they didn't serve the stuff all the time to the person twenty four seven in an addictive way. It's in mass which, now, and now it's, it's like so addictive. That yeah, thing, the, yeah. that 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 then black mirror is amazing. Turn that shit off because it yeah. is so poisonous. It's crazy, right? but, but it's but good and bad though because I, I think that the kids it's more today, bad than good. Well, I, I think that the kids today are uh, like a million times more aware. Uh, they they have a lot more information than, For sure. than we did. Have you guys we sat back and thought about the evolutionary cycle? Right, the speed of evolution of the human brain compared to the speed of evolution of the smartphone mm-hmm. is on an order of magnitude, far dwarfing the speed at which the human brain is evolving. We are not wired to to cope with this yeah. speed of transformation. You're going to put not. a chip in your head. Yeah, that, that's how yeah. we it's keep called, up with it's, it. It's called Neuralink, right? And yeah. Elon Musk is behind that as well. Yeah. By the way, I got so a grand okay. I'll be back. Yeah, sure. Okay. Yeah, me too. Actually, that's okay. Just go. Just go. Just go. Just go. 
Are you got a P2? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got it. I got it. No, I'm just, I'm just. Are we, are we going to continue? With we're just going to continue. Yeah. Really? So, I mean, I guess if you guys pee. No, 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 don't, don't, don't. Because like, you know, I can't, I can't I'm just going to sit here and talk while <laughs> these two guys go on, uh, a, you know, a collaborative pee break. Oh, but, no, but, okay, okay. We'll, we'll talk. Sorry. Th- this is amazing. Just the, <laughs> like, I thought we were working with professionals here. You know, people who, who knew what the fuck they were doing. But but it's it's really it's really interesting because like <laughs> it's really interesting that this this whole thing of like you know when we were just casually talking about the Matrix as yeah. if it was like a fun joke in the late nineties. Yeah. I mean, I remember seeing that film and I mean, it was really sort of mind blowing. It was mind blowing, blowing right? because yeah. it was just so sharp and engaging and fun and amazing. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. but we're now we're getting get closer to that that thing where they just put that thing in exactly and I've always, they plug I've, it in you I've always wondered about like oh shit you can just download a language and like you can start speaking it and stuff yeah, yeah. and it's just like we're getting and so I've asked myself this question very often right uh, if I was in the matrix and I knew that this was happening would I still do it I think I would you know I, I was still yeah. get plugged in and I, I think that you know, from the story about your nephew scrolling yeah. on the screen, I think many people in the world would as well. They would. Yeah. They say, "Oh, Matrix, yeah." That looks all right. Yeah. yeah. Forget it. You yeah, know, yeah, yeah, yeah. plug me in. Sign yeah, me yeah, up. Yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah. remember when, like, I mean, Sims like came into life where you could build worlds yes, and like yes. you know, and everything with Fortnite and everything. You could like it's it's. I mean, why do you think that is the case? Why do you think that there is this? need for escape everyone everyone is looking because for life it. is shit like the world yeah. is shit like because yeah. we don't like i mean it's nice that i mean i prefer like meeting you guys and then talking rather than mm-hmm. i mean the whatsapp is it's painful yeah. just the way we communicate yeah. i think i think we're growing further and further apart emotionally as people but we're connected to our each other's wallets and our pressures and, and things and yeah. and we're just and we get to that point where we just we just care about ourselves. And and, and, and COVID our, doesn't help either. COVID doesn't help. Because it's it's changing communication in such profound ways, you know. Yeah. Very I mean, all this zooming and uh virtual meetings, all the, all these things are here to How stay, many how many yeah. virtual meetings did you attend yesterday? Yesterday, uh one or two. One or two yesterday. Yeah. 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 I think in a week it would be maybe three or four. Yeah. Yeah. I mean it's yeah. And it's it's I do you think I I can't even imagine What about you? What what was your number? Yesterday but six. No. Well, but like I mean Really? I, yeah, but I mean it, it, wow. it's just thirty like thirty minutes, thirty minutes, thirty minutes, thirty minutes. Okay, but yeah. still, but still. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. But, but, but you're I, you're very productive. No, but well <laughs> but not really. It's just more of like you're doing maybe three things, but you speak to different people, and some people can't make it to me. But but right, what I do right, right, what right. I do love about it is that you're the what I do love about it is there's some sort of like this efficiency now, right? Yes, yes. What I don't like about it is the disconnect of like you Correct. you don't yeah. know how that person is doing because you haven't seen like uh, I have interns who help me out on the podcast, mm-hmm. right? Apart from the first intern who's, who's who's my younger cousin, all of the other interns there've been three now. Right, They've been right. three now. I've never met them in person. Right. They've, I've just met them virtually. What? Yeah, really? Yeah. Yeah. And I, you know, we have yeah. all these amazing conversations. I'm not surprised. And stuff, I'm not surprised. But, but it's about crazy, that. Yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Do you need to go to the washroom? Yes, now? I yeah, do. Well, yeah. <laughs> just, just the bla- the bladder levels I, are I, on I this podcast. Thought we, could, we were not allowed to go to. No, we can. We can oh, do yeah, anything yeah. we want. I mean, yeah, yeah. No, you could. You can. You can do whatever you want. Yeah. We were just. It's the instant gratification. The era. Yeah. We well. <laughs> we, we, I, we, I can't remember whatever it was before bladder levels, but yeah, 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 yeah. that was um, good. <laughs> so, um, fifty fifty something, fifty something. So your your body breaks down in different ways as you get older. Um, it's 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 um it's one of the byproducts of life as you get older. Yeah, uh, you, you might get older and wiser, and you might assume the body. you get old people's rights. But, but then you look, you look pretty well. Yeah. So 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 the. The 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 in the world taketh and the world giveth. Yeah. Right? The world giveth giveth us OPRs, but the world taketh our have you been have um, you always sort of been conscious about your health and looking good and feeling good and all that? You think I look good? I mean you I mean if I mean for your age, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll buy you a drink. Yeah, yeah. After, no, no, but you, but you do you know what I mean? Like I mean I want I want to I mean I, I could exercise more. Yeah. But I'm not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh because I'm trying to I was just saying that, you know, you have six virtual meetings in a day sometimes yeah, yeah, just because yeah. different meetings and stuff like that. Yeah, and yeah. and I'm st- I'm, I don't have 
a I don't have a colleague in in my apartment now to say, hey, do you want to you know go yeah. out for grab a sandwich or something? Yeah, yeah, like nobody yeah. breaks you, so my body is just feeling all sorts of like weirdness because it's it's in these unnatural positions. Hundred percent for for too long yeah. of a time. You got to look after your health, though. Yeah, that, that but, is the most important thing. Have you? But have you been doing more consciously now of late, or have you been doing it for like a good ten years? That 50, like you've just been conscious about it. I mean, I'm beginning to. Like do all the sweet stuff less. Yeah, I'm yeah. doing. I'm doing more water and H two O and. Oh okay. You know. Um, yeah, yeah yeah. No, it's it's very good for you. Um, I've 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 done it for a very long time, and the reason I've done it for a long time is because I got switched on to the addictive nature of heavy exercise. Oh so right. So when you work out really the high hard, that you yeah, get. Right, yeah right, yeah right, it's right. real it's real yeah. and it's and it's um. It, it exists. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's not. It's not. It's not fictional. Yeah. So when you have a really good workout, you get these like endorphins in your system, yeah. and it's very addictive. You keep on searching oh. for it all it's the time. It's really interesting because I I, I know what you're talking about, yeah, yeah. but I think when I was younger, I just because I assumed it was just a competitive high. Like you, like I thought it was just a competitive yeah, yeah. high. But yeah, yeah. I, is it? Is that what it is? Because it feels great. Like. So this is actually related to my disdain for big pharma, right? Because there's a lot of things in the real, <laughs> there's a lot of things in the natural world which can be they obtained for you, free, yeah. and it's it's like um, like ayahuasca. No, just kidding. <laughs> that too. Okay, for example, for example, one of the things that that guarantees not not, not guarantees um, gives you a huge natural I- immunity against COVID is vitamin D, right? Yeah, and yeah. vitamin D is for free outside in Malaysia yeah. every day, yeah. right? Why doesn't Big Pharma tell us to go and spend more time outdoors? Why doesn't Big Pharma tell us to go and exercise more to build up our immune systems? Yeah. Because they make money selling you products, yeah. right? Pills, yeah. right? So that's why there's a lot of irresponsibility. And governments know this, and they don't do that because governments are behind Big Pharma, right? I mean, look at the US government. They funded Pfizer. They funded AstraZeneca. Yeah. They, they gave them basically yeah. carte blanche, billions and billions of dollars, right? To just go and omakase. Do something for me, yeah, right? Yeah. Right? Um, Remdesivir, which is the, the drug that belonged to Gilead, right? Moderna. Um, Trump was trumping it around. He yeah, was promoting yeah, yeah, that yeah. publicly. So was Fauci, right? They are in bed with Big Pharma. They don't tell you to go and get um, free vitamin D outside in the hot sun. They don't tell you to do that. You've been watching too much Joe Rogan. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, no, no. As in, as in, this is yeah. exactly what Joe Rogan is saying yeah. as well. That, 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 that beyond that particular signal yeah. of, of it, like, yeah. just the individual is not doing enough to get more exercise, yeah. build your immune system through yeah. vitamins and stuff like that. And you, you don't need to be worried because, because if you're strong and healthy and fit, it doesn't matter if you're 65, if you're not fat, if you don't have high blood pressure because you're stressed out about all the money you're trying to make, right? If you don't have hypertension, or you, you're not um, smoking all the time because you're stressed out, you are going to have a natural immunity against COVID. Yeah. It's intuitive, but Pfizer doesn't tell you to do that, right? AstraZeneca doesn't tell you to do that. They just say, buy my pill, you'll be right, you'll live. I can't wait for the story, <clears throat> like, the, you know, the, 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 the story that becomes the canon of how COVID emerges, because that, that, that that story is being written right now between China and America, right? About where it originated and, you it know- Wasn't it Bill Gates? Yeah, <laughs> and whether it was Bill Gates and all that, right? Yeah. I mean, but what becomes the canon, right? What become, and, and you're right, that, that, that reference that you're talking about, that Asian reference, that, yeah. that American reference, that's gonna be fascinating because, you know, Global Times is saying it's, it's, it's the Americans and then, you know, Americans are saying is that Wuhan lab, that, that the virology lab, and it's just, it's going to be so interesting to see how that plays out. I, I don't think it matters at all. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. Because because uh, it's it's us, right? It's our our habits. I mean, the the it, it, this is just a cross section of of wild animals versus what we sell oh, you in, don't, in you, the market, you, right? You don't you don't think you don't think there were some people in labs just wanting to sort of jack up and see. So it's, it's not just the. Um, you, you don't think it was an, a weaponized attack? I, I, I don't think I. I well, I Who? I don't I don't know I I don't think so. But uh, COVID is just the yeah. latest incarnation of viruses, which has decimated society for the last twenty years, right? SARS two thousand two since time immemorial, right? like exactly the, the, the bubonic plague the in the 16, plague, 1916, yeah. right? Yeah. Uh, it's just for accelerated the last, last millennia. Yeah, millennia. but it's accelerated in the last twenty years. Why? Because um, human beings again have touching each other all over the faces. <laughs> that too. <laughs> no. Okay. We've we've just basically ate our way around the animal kingdom, and a lot of these viruses used to exist on animals, right? Mm-hmm. So yeah. we've eaten through entire populations of fish, 
um, uh, chickens, uh, bats. cows, bats, whatever, right? Everything. So yeah. the viruses are jumping from the animals onto human beings. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Right. So we've had we've had fucking swine flu. We've had uh, MERS. We've had Ebola. We've had SARS. We've now we've got COVID. Right. And it's mutating so fast. We brought it upon ourselves because we just wanted another iPhone. Wow, you, he's. Re- I mean, now, now that goes to your conspiracy theory. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think, but you can, I, you can also weaponize. You that, can. Right? I mean, I, th- easily, I think it's a little yeah. bit of both. I think it's a little 100%, bit of both. Maybe. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right, Boston Dynamics, right? Who have a very, very good robotics arm, right? They can easily be weaponized, right? Yeah. What was the car industry before it was the car industry? Weapons making. That's why Japan is. Has, that right? Yeah, hundred percent. I don't know. Yeah, not right. Ford. What's Ford? No, no. Well, I'm talking about Japan, right? Japan had a huge industrial military complex in the Second World War. After they got shut down, what did they make? Cars from the same factories. Nice. Yeah. Oh, no wonder. Oh, they make good cars yeah, though. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. I think it was car first, then war. Oh, no, no. War first and war then cars. War first, then cars. Okay. Yeah. They were but, not very good cars but, at but, the time. But, no. but, but kind of also almost that, you know, especially on, just on the matter of cars, just the continued, as technology was developing in, I don't know, 50s, 60s, 70s and stuff, like just the continued reliance on creating cars to be based off oil rather than solar because yeah. the, you could have yeah. cut it off even earlier, 100%. right? Like we're talking about Elon Musk and his cars and his Tesla cars as if like, but I mean, no. he, he could have done, you could, we could have done it actually yeah. in the in that period yeah. where yeah. just cut but oil was yeah. just yeah. too yeah. strong. Yeah. So oil right was up, powerful. Right, right up there with, with evil people like Pfizer, is uh, like shout, big pharma. Shout, out, shout out to I, Big Pharma exam- who's never going to sponsor this podcast ever for sure <laughs> no unless you can prove your, your green shots Maybe you know you what I mean go your corporate governance dream yeah your <laughs> governance dream <laughs> so that's, that's that's the problem see so us seeking them for money makes us part of the system right of right. course and we don't we, we, we're doing this just so unless Coinbase wants to sponsor us and give us cryptos wow that was fast or Google that was fast. Google, or Google, Google doesn't, doesn't care fine. yeah I don't mind <laughs> So that's how Greta Thunberg is compromised, right? Because she's got to do her rounds. So who's she going to get money from? Elon, Mark, Tim, whoever, right? But so no, but you can you can you can say all of that. But what do you propose she does? I mean, like, I'm being being serious. What do you propose? Because because mm. I think I think I think we need more people like her. Like I know you can say that she's placed in this in this position where she will be utilized, and I get that. But if that if that represents an, an individual like that represents this kind of impact and movement because for me that impact is huge like she got an entire like millions of people around to pay attention to at least this one matter right yeah, but what is the narrative she's propagating though that uh the the, the earth is uh, heading towards this yeah country. okay and yeah. then what happens after that take, taking know. this logical conclusion there are interests that she represents I, I think for, for sure, for sure that you need some kind of systemic uh, way of dealing with this, right? It's, it's not just about so, so, so the, sh- switching off our lights for one hour on yeah. World Earth Day. You need governments to come in to say, look, we, we got to stop carbon emissions by a certain date. You, you got to stop uh, using this and yeah. that. So, but it's, are you saying, are you yeah. saying that whatever route she takes, she's going to hit this roadblock where she, that because she represents interest, she's compromised and therefore unauth- inauthentic? inauthentic and therefore she, we, we, we shouldn't sort of proceed on it. Like, I just want to understand where your cutoff point is. I think in broad terms, what she represents is healthy, right? Yeah. But at the end of the day, for example, like if we, for example, three of us, we want to be do good and be good people. At the end of the day, for them, for us to survive doing this on a daily basis, it's got to be paid for somehow, somewhere. Right? Yeah. We've got to go and search for the dollar to pay for this. We will be compromised one way or another, taken and extrapolated to its nth degree. Greta Thornburg is doing the same thing because her influence is is counted in the num- in millions, right? So she has got to be stand, stood up and counted, and if someone's got to pay for her to go up there and stand up and be counted. Who's going to pay for her to be stand up and count, stood up and counted? Who? Tesla is is that right? uh, Coinbase, okay. whoever the fuck that is going to be, right? Is, so is she that, will is be that always the point. Like, is it is it does is it, it is, does it have to be that yeah. binary? I guess. Yeah. No, it doesn't have to be. Yeah. People, people can and should be more aware of what is going, the world is going through today. They can and should tell themselves, we don't need the car. We don't need the big fucking bungalow. We don't need 10 million in the account. We don't need to have a, a, a fantasy life on Instagram. We don't need any of that. We can be happy with a girl that we love and a small house and two children who are healthy yeah. and a simple lifestyle. 
Right? And maybe just, we, you know... Nobody in the world, right, is proposing that narrative. Nobody. I think there's a. I think there's a lot of people. I think it's not like mainstream. Like no, no, no. I mean, right. but you're talking about it. Yeah. So if you're talking but about who it, the I fuck mean, am I, I, right? No, no. Of course. The reason I can do that is because I'm not represented by interests. I understand. I understand. And, but of course, that movement exists, right? Yeah. So people, people are is, is adopting that and saying yeah, that that's right. But, but there's there's when is it going to take into the mainstream, right? And so so I think that's where that that's where it's going to be sort of really impactful. But I think it sounds like you're saying that it's always going to be sort of leaning heavy yeah. and that leverage towards... Yeah. towards I, I, don't, I don't think it does. I think we're headed for oblivion. I think we're all going to die. <laughs> right? I'm serious. I do. I do. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, think, yeah, I, think, yeah, yeah. I think because there's too much greed, uh, too much avarice point, yeah. in this world. At some right? point. Yeah. Yeah. At but, some point in time. But that makes gonna... what she's saying, what Greta is saying, uh, correct, you see? Yeah. It, it just it, yeah. it vindicates. Correct. That's why I say yeah. broad term, she's right. And what yeah. she represents broadly is correct. But at some point in time, she becomes diluted and compromised. I think that because the I think world, I think there's gonna I think if if there are more I I understand that I think we need more of that to delay it because I think if you if you just throw everything out of you know the trolley right now baby and bathwater same same yeah case, I mean yeah. It, yeah I mean I feel I look I think you know we've I mean we're such we're we're such a primitive baby species yeah. like you know we're such we're such idiots that the fact that we've lasted this long is a fucking miracle but we haven't though you see. I mean, Beings much larger and more powerful than us, like the dinosaurs, yeah. oh. were around for a lot much longer. I know, I know. The, the universe was long, around for much longer. Much, much, much longer. 16, 15, yeah, 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 15 yeah, yeah, yeah. billion years. How does Julian Ung fight off a Tyrannosaurus rex or a Velociraptor? Well, we with, the, with these kind of hands? Yeah, yeah, Julian's got that covered, come on. I think it's societal. We got, societal. To, we got to legislate against uh, T-Rexes and, and things like that. Tax yeah. them? You got to tax, you got to tax the... You, you, Look, the, the it's, it's well. like a vaccine thing, right? Uh, the, the problem is that we are not stopping this march towards the destruction of our world is because of too much liberty, right? We, too much greed, too much avarice, too yeah, much envy. We, we, we feel that we have the right to consume. And, and that's why I, I think, all right, I, I'm not claiming to be the know-it-all, but I think what Greta Thunberg is saying is that um, he, she's saying to Donald Trump, you got to stop this because the US is the biggest consumer in the world and China is not far behind. Like the political systems have to change so that you encourage or incentivize people not to consume so much, you know. And then the, the, the poorer nations would say, hey, uh, you guys already have the right to consume like for the last 200 When's years. When's our time to party? What about us? Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, and that's the problem, right? That is the and, problem, and, and that, the that thing, is why I don't and, think. And so it is with with uh, vaccination, right? I I have the right to believe that the vaccines are unsafe, right? I, I have that right, you know. Yeah. Don't don't question my right to do. No, that's not the point. The point is, if you do not, in in a way, legislate for people to be vaccinated, there is a problem that yeah. that COVID thing is going to be around for some time. I think, right? I, I don't yeah. think the world can be saved. I think we're all headed yeah. for death and you, destruction. You could be right there, yeah. And that is why I feel that uh, everybody should withdraw Just their ICNA and party like it's uh, 1999. <laughs> I, I like right, that. In, that. In, 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 the, in the same breath that like the world's in oblivion. I like that we're, we're seizing the day and we're just, you know, yeah. spending the time the talking to days. each other. The last day. 100%. This, like, this is the, this is, when, they, when you want to say, this is the beginning of the end, this is it. If you want to dance naked in your living room, Wait, like Tom on, Cruise did. What happened? What's going on? If you want to dance naked in your living room <laughs> and yeah. mantra song like Tom Cruise did in Risky in, Business. Uh, Risky business thank you you should if you want to hold the hand of the girl you love and kiss her on the cheek wow. now you sh you should oh my goodness I'm if you want to go and have that fucking wow. um, you know uh but cheesecake because Ooh. it's fucking delicious yeah and you're afraid of you know the 500 calories that is going to come along yeah fuck it fuck it do it talking, wow. talking about lunch uh, talking about food oh, we, should, we should have lunch okay. now yeah, if maybe you want a glass of vino whoa hello do it wow yeah gentlemen yeah i mean mantra to live by i i think i think uh OPR, all people's rights. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. What, what was, you don't qualify yet. I don't qualify um, yet. I don't know about him, but I, I definitely qualify. And I think, I think you, you and can the mantra, start. And you the mantra start. of yeah. just not giving a fucking season. Yeah, today. exactly. Yeah. yeah. Right. Fuck what people think about you, man. Fuck yeah. It. Fuck people. Fuck what, social media. Fuck the social Fuck what people think about this. Fuck the police. This, 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 this has been a very good use yeah. of time <laughs> for us. If, and if they have stayed on else. this long, right? To right. listen to the end of the uh, message, like. You deserve a medal. I think I think the three of us should watch The Matrix again together. And we should, fiction. we should, we should. I think the Disney's And Reservoir Dogs. Yeah. And Reservoir Dogs just yeah. to complete. In full 3D. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, boys.